evening, everyone, from the historic Bank of Locksford Gymnasium. It's college basketball tonight, a conference matchup. We'll have the starting lineups coming up in a moment. It's UA Coscott, Lady Colts, and the South Arc Lady Stars. Here on Ed88Radio.com on the sports page, also on the Ed88 YouTube page. About to do the starting lineups, and we'll have that for you in a moment. UA Coscott, Lady Colts come in. At 12 and 12 overall, 10 and, uh, 10 and 3 at home, away they're 2 and 9, played 24 games, 12 and 12 overall, they're um, South Arc winning uh, 1 and 15 overall and 1 and 6 in conference play. We'll do the announcing as well. And a good evening, everyone. Welcome to the historic Bank of Locksburg Gymnasium. College basketball tonight, a conference matchup between UA Cossack and South Arc. Live stream broadcast is on the website, ed88radio.com, on the sports page, and on the Ed88 YouTube page. Starting lineups will be coming up. But first, would you please rise for the national anthem? Starting lineups this evening, first of all, for the visiting South Arc Lady Stars, a freshman guard number zero, Josiah Buford. Freshman guard number two, Logan Smith. Freshman guard number three, Emma Kate McBride. Sophomore forward, number 11, Kylie Portillos. Freshman four, number 30, Elena Milton. And for your UA Costine Lady Colts, head coach Stan Asunu. Head guard, 5'9", sophomore from Queen, Arkansas, number 10, Jara Cotton. Head guard, 5'6", sophomore from Centerville, Texas, number 11, Kiana. And guard, 5'8 sophomore from Rayville, Louisiana, number 30, Samaya Smith. Guard forward, 6 foot freshman from Co Arkansas, number 33, Hannah McClain. And it's center, 6 foot freshman from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, number 44, Sophia Reyes. Great Costa taking on the South Arc Lady Stars tonight in a conference matchup here on Ed88 Radio.com on the sports page, also on the Ed88 YouTube page. There's the starters for Lady uh, Colts. Jared Cotton, number 10, Kiana Holly, number 11, Samaya Smith, number 30, Hannah McLean, number 33, and Sophia Reyes, number 44 for the UA Costa Lady Colts. South Arc, it's Buford, Smith, McBride, Portillos, and Milton. South Arc will get the tip, but they throw it out. Can it stay with? Oh, they were able to get it. 
Goes over to the right wing, now looking low, pass it back out for the three-pointer. It's short. Offensive rebound and put back. Can't get it. But Samaya Smith, the UH Oshot, comes away with a rebound, takes it down court as well. So back it back out. It's to Kiana Holly on the right wing. Give it to Jared Cotton at the top of the key. Cotton on the dribble towards the baseline, going towards the hole. Pass it off to Hannah McClain. Throws one up underhanded and loses it. South Rock comes away with it. As to the free throw line, somebody open for three will stop. Take the jumper from five. Can't get it to go. That was number 11 for Tios. The UA Child Stock comes with it. No score. Just getting underway here at Bank of Locksburg Gymnasium. Inside, Sophia Reyes puts it up. Partially blocked. Can't get it to go. Coming away with it. It's number three, McBride for South Art. South Art passing around the perimeter. It almost took it. It is taken away. Jared Cotton got a hand on it. Went to, ends up to Sophia Reyes' hand. And we'll get it back out. And we'll go right away with it. UA Constant, Lady Colts with it. Kiana Holly at the top. Dribbled inside. All the way in, but lost a handle on it. Reyes comes away with it. Last touch by South Art before it goes out. So we'll stay with the Lady Colts. Part of the NJCAA Division II basketball at Locksburg tonight. UA Costat Lady Colts and the South Arc Lady Stars. No score with eight and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. Underneath Sophia Reyes, oh! second shot underneath, can't get it to go. South Arc comes away with it. It's going all the way in. Looks like a charge, and it is. Call for the charge. Buford. Josiah Buford, number zero. Takes it all the way in, set underneath the goal. Samaya Smith, it was either Smith or Holly underneath. It never moved and was run over by Buford. Smith taking it all the way to the hole. Puts one up, off the glass, good. Four to nothing. UA Costa. No, two to nothing. That's right, that one didn't go. So two nothing, UA Costa, Lady Colts. Jerry Cotton had a tip thrown all the way across the court into the corner. And throws it away on the South Arc. And we'll go back to UA Costa. Thanks for joining us on the live stream tonight on Ed88. On Ed88radio.com. It's on the Ed88 YouTube page. Subscribe if you will. And we'll give you notifications. Three games this week, all in here in Locksburg. It was partially blocked, but a foul on number 30, Milton. It's going to go against Milton. Milton's first. And that'll send Samaya Smith to the free throw line for two for the UA Costat Lady Colts. Lady Colts lead it 2 0. With about seven and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Smith's first one put up and in. Oh, rolls back out. Will not go. Thought it was going to fall. It stood it back out. So Smith will have another one from the free throw line, puts this one up, and it's short. Can't get either one. Rebound is by Milton of South Park, taken away by Jared Cotton. She's going to take it in, throws up the left hand. Can't get that one to go. Taken away by Sophia Reyes underneath the goal. It's tied up underneath the possession and will stay with the Lady Colts. That was the Lady Colts lead 2-0. Seven and a half minutes to play in the opening quarter. Smith on the baseline. Trying to get the offense set up. Holly open for three. Got it! Kiana Holly with a three pointer. South Arc with the ball, dribbling. Passes out to the corner. Double team. South Arc comes away with it. Pass underneath to 11. That's foul on Hannah McClain underneath. That'll be, I don't think that'll be shots. That'll be taken out on the baseline. That'll go to South Arc. Lady Stars have it. Trailing 5-0. Lee Costot with the lead here. That one's taken away by Hannah McClain. Almost taken away. She got a tip on it. It goes to the floor. That one's tied up. And the possession area now to the South Arc Lady Stars. South Arc gets it in. Number 30. Passes it back out for the two. Fouled by Hannah McClain. Picks up some quick ones there. 
She fouls Buford. Buford goes free throw line for two. And Swain's called for her second early in the, in the early going here. So uh, Lexus Hernandez will check in for UH Oscott. And uh, McLean will get a rest. Can't get early fouls. We'll have to set her out for a little bit here in the first half. First one put up by Buford will not go, so she's got another one coming. They have yet to score. South Arc behind by five. 5-0. Five -oh. Got the second one to go, so 5-1. Uh, Ray Costop with the lead. Pass down to Reyes. Hernandez throws it away. Went through the hands of Sophia. Tios over the point guard Buford. Buford throws it underneath. Shot put up by number three. McBride got it. McBride got the basket. And UA Costa leads it 5 3. Underneath Sophia Reyes. Dribbling, turn, puts up the shot, goes, gets the basket, and is fouled. Basket is good and one. As Sophia Reyes will go to the line for one. The old fashioned three point play. Reyes. Puts up the free throw, can't get it to go. get some of these scores. I haven't written those down. Three put up no good by number 11, Portillos. Rebound goes to UA Costa. Pass down the court. Knocked away by South Park. They'll stay with the Lady Colts. Pass inside to Reyes. Puts up the shot and got it. Great pass from Holly, the assist. Straight to Sophia Reyes under the goal. Reyes just turns around, puts it up off the glass, good. High arching three, can't go. Samaya Smith pulls down the rebound and a reach in by uh, Portillos. And she'll be called for the foul. Ray Costa will have the ball baseline in the backcourt. Looks like some full court pressure by South Arc, Lady Stars. So, Ray Costop will move the offense around, break the pressure, gives it off to Maya Smith. South Arc will back it off. Fernandez flashes out to the left baseline. Holly on the right wing, throws it to Cotton. Cotton takes it inside, looking. Passes off to Hernandez for the three. Off the back of the rim, no good. Coming away with a rebound is McBride. And Buford takes it all the way in, throws up a shot, no good. Yeah. Saved inbounds by Portilla, or by Milton. Oh. Holly travels on the other end. We have a turnover at Lady Colts. Lady Colts lead it 9-3. About five minutes to play in the first period. First quarter. Buford trying to get it in, and it's stolen away by Jared Cotton. Gives it off to Holly. Smith on the right wing. And then back up top. Holly over here to Cotton at the top of the key. Now back to Smith. And reset the offense. Smith gives it off to Cotton. Left of the free throw line. Cotton looking for help. Dribbles. Backs it back out. Gives it to Holly on the baseline. Holly goes in the basket. Not from behind. Reyes yeah. with the rebound, puts it back up, and it's found by Milton. So Reyes will go back to the free throw line for another pair. Milton gets another foul, that's her second. Yeah. Milton with the foul, second foul. 
the field ready. You know, the tie spot at the free throw line. Picks up the free throw, no good. One more for Reyes. This one is up short, no good. 9-3, UA Kyle Stott with the lead with four and a half to play in the first quarter. Knocked away by Hernandez, almost stolen away. Sophia Reyes grabs it. So does Buford on the floor. Both are on the floor and possession goes back to UA Kyle Stott. Cast up ball with the ball in the backcourt. Sierra Cotton will get it in to Samaya Smith. And Smith will bring it across. Shaw has checked in. Sierra Shaw. So you need Costa on the right wing. Cotton thinking about it. Hernandez tries to pass it inside. Stolen away by number 12, Robinson. Knocked away now. Hernandez gets it. On to the other end, not from behind, by Buford. And UA Costop will retain possession on their own baseline. Pass inside to Shaw, look for the shot, take it in, throws one up yeah. off the glass, good. Yeah, Shaw gets her first basket of the afternoon or evening. Here in the first period. South Park, Lady Stars with the ball, passing around the perimeter, dribbling inside the free throw line, gives it back off, Buford up top, one dribble, throws it away. Go back to, out to uh, Yui Kostak in the backcourt. Thank you for joining us here, hope you subscribe and we'll get notifications when games come on or changes or anything. Maya Smith with it right now. And a reach in foul on number zero, Buford. Nope, they're calling on two. That's going against Logan Smith. So Samaya Smith goes to the line for two. Smith at the line. Samaya Smith, first one is short and hit me free throws. Better than this one in the first half than in the second half. So I guess we don't, does it make a difference? But I think it does. Momentum is everything. She did get the second. So Samaya Smith gets the free throw. Hernandez reaches in, almost ties it up. South Park gets it on the right corner with a three pointer. That's number five, Bishop. JC Bishop with the three. Dribbling out front, gives it off to Smith. Smith on the baseline, off the foot. That was off the length of Hernandez trying to get a hold of the ball. That one's called on number 12, Lexi Robinson of South Park. And that'll send Hernandez to the line for two. Victoria Burns checking in for UA Costa. Lexi, Alexis Hernandez at the uh, line for UA Costa for two shots. First one up and good. Hernandez with her first points of the evening at the free throw line. UA Costa leads this 13 to 6 here in the first quarter. She hits them both. Hernandez gets both of them. And South Park will get the ball with under three minutes to play in the first quarter. Taking the three. Put up. In and out, no good. That was by number 11, Portillos. Ray Costock comes away with the rebound. Victoria Burns out top. Sierra Cotton looking. Get it back off to Burns. Burns loses the handle. South Park comes away with it. Goes the other end. Good shot for that. Oh, didn't get it to go. But Shaw comes away with a rebound for Ray Costock. off the foot of number 11, Portillos. Good uh, smart move there by Cotton as she throws it off the foot, Portillos. South Arc, so it'll stay with UA Costa now. We'll go back to UA Costa. 
2.12 to go in the first period. 14-6, UA Tri-Stop. Knocked away from behind by Buford, but that will stay with UA Tri-Stop. That'll be on the side. Ray Tristide has it. Out to Shaw, up top. Shaw on the dribble. Throws a running yeah. jumper off the glass. Got it to go. Sarah Shaw now with four points. Leads the scoring. For Ray Tristide in the first three. Pass over to Buford. Takes the three off the iron. No good. Toriana Fulbright in the game. She gets a rebound. She's off Shaw now. Underneath the Fulbright for the two. And a timeout call. 30 second timeout by South Park. We'll be back in a moment. Wilkerson Funeral Home was established by the Wilkerson family in 1929. Fred Wilkerson Sr. built a reputation on serving others, putting families first, and operating with the highest standards of professionalism. With locations in Dequeen and Dirks, families of Southwest Arkansas continue to choose Wilkerson Funeral Home for their dependability, professionalism, and a staff that has acquired over 125 years of combined experience in the funeral business. Supporting our community and area schools, Wilkerson Funeral Home, and online at WilkersonFuneralHomes.com. Well, I'm missing one point for UA Costa. I got kind of a later start. I'm, I was I'm doing the PA announcing and doing the live stream and trying to keep up with the scoring here. A right, long three from the corner off the front of the iron. No good. Fullback had it for a moment. Gives it off to 11. Portillos with the off the window for the two. It's her first basket. Go! Cotton on the dribble. Oh, UA Costa. Let me take it all the way in. Woo! And a reaching foul on number 12, Robinson. So Robinson fouls Cotton. Cotton will go to the line for two. Jerry Cotton for UA Costa. Has yet to score, I believe. But she may have gotten one of them. I didn't, I missed one earlier. First free throw put up, no good. Cotton's got another one coming to the free throw line. I'm missing one point, but got four points for Reyes. Four for Sarah Shaw. Three-pointer by Holly. Couple of points for Fulbright and Hernandez. Cotton got that one to go. She and Smith have won. Tipped up, knocked away by Hernandez. Throws it the other end. Cotton running to try to get it. So it'll stay with South Park. Restart the shot clock at 30. And it'll be South Park ball. South Park with it, trying to drive all the way in. Buford backs it back out, throws it underneath. Can't get it to Robinson. Got it to Robinson, but Robinson can't get it to go. And Burns comes away with it now for South Park. Oh, yeah. UA throws it away. Got Burns. Ray Costat, we got uh, Coriana Fulbright, Lexus Hernandez, uh, Shaw, and Jared Cotton. That's the left wing. With Tios, it's fouled by Burns. Burns call for the foul. That is Burns first. Quick to get it in. Portillos takes the three. Got it. Portillos now with five points, leads all scores. Jared Cotton going to the other end. Left hand dribble, reach in, knocked away by Robinson. It'll stay with UA Costot on the baseline. Victoria Burns getting it underneath, gives it off to Shaw. Shaw will back it back out. And give it off to Cotton. Cotton throws one up, a little too late. And the score, 19 to 11 at the end of the first period of play. Ray Costat leads it 19 to 11. And we'll take a break. Be right back here on 8 Look at where we are. Think of what we can do. What we're building together is special. And at Southwestern Electric Power Company, we know it's only the beginning. We can do more to improve our communities, our lives, 
We can reimagine how we use power and where that power comes from. We believe every person, no matter how unique, makes us stronger. By working together, the energy to accomplish our dreams is boundless. Did you hear that? The State Farm thing. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I think we're in a commercial. Jake from State Farm, I knew it. Don't worry, Chris, things are gonna go surprisingly great. Dad, look! Chris! Ooh, see, surprising. Just like State Farm's surprisingly great rates. I, w I didn't even record. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. In DeQueen, your State Farm insurance agent is Luke Billingsley at 870-642-2157. I want to say thank you to our sponsors tonight that make it happen. That's uh, Swepco, Southwest Arkansas, or Southwestern Electric Power Company. Also, uh, State Farm and your local insurance agent in the Queen is Luke Billingsley. From the corner, got the three. That is number five, Bishop. J.C. Bishop with the three. He's had two three-pointers, six points, leads the scoring. Great move underneath the basket. Backhanded by Jared Cotton. What a move underneath the basket by Cotton. Gets the two. Jerry Costa comes away with it. Holly looking for help. Gives it off to Smith. Now to Hernandez. Open for the three. Short. Reyes tries to save it in. Can't do it. It'll go back to Southar in the backcourt. South Park Lady Stars trailing it by seven, 21 to 14. UA Costa with the lead. Another three put up. That was by number two, Smith. Can't get it. Portillos driving inside off the glass. Good. Good move by Portillos. She has seven points and leads South Park. 21 16, five point lead. UA Costa in the second quarter. Sophia Reyes puts up the left handed shot underneath. Can't get it to go. Portillos comes away with it. Passes it down court, back out to Buford for the three. Got it. Buford with the three-pointer. Buford has four points. 21-19, two-point lead. UA toss the top. Still has a two-point lead now, but it's slimmed away. And Coach Stan Asunu wants a timeout, so we'll take one, two. And we'll be right back after this timeout. Here on at 88. The mouth-watering Big Mac with a savory filio fish and a tasty McChicken. My goodness, that looks good. Oh, oh, you're making a McDonald's menu hat. Yes, a land, air, and sea. Oh, it's going to tip over. No, it's good. It's good. Very stable. Order the land, air, and sea by name, build it by hand, and hack the McDonald's menu. I'm surprised at how attracted I am to it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And we're back here in Chile Costant Ball with a two-point lead. Coach uh, Senior had to take a time out there. As they only lead by two now, 21 to 19. Holly trying to drive inside, leaves the handle. And South Park say, we didn't tip that ball. But they're going to get it to UA Costant anyway. Holly takes the jumper from 10 and got it. Holly now with five points. 23-19, UA Costant with the lead. Dribbling up top, Smith has it, gives it off to Buford, back to Smith. South Park with the ball. Buford will take the three. Got another one. Buford now with seven points. And it's a one-point lead, UA Costa. South Park playing good on the road tonight. Gives it out to Maya Smith up top. Hernandez dribbling inside the paint, puts up the two-pointer off the glass, no good. Reyes with the rebound and the putback. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Portillos of South Park. South Park with the ball to Buford, back to Portillos. Wants the three. Got it. Another three by South Park. They're lighting it up. And a steal. Another three put up by Buford. Can't get it. Portillos with the rebound. Out hustling. UA Costa at the moment. 
Buford takes the two. It's long, no good. Smiley Smith with the rebound. Smith will get it. Now it's Ray Costock trailing by two, 25-23. We're in the second period. Underneath the Reyes, back to the end. Off the glass, no good. Rebound by Portillos. That was partially tipped by Milton. South Arc's got it. Buford up top. Wants to dribble <coughs> towards the paint. Can't get it to go. Passes it off, but it was picked by Cotton. So it'll stay with South Arc. Some checking in. Toyana Fullback, Sierra Shaw for Yuri Costock coming in. Hernandez to check out. But we got Cotton in there. Smith in there. Fulbright. Shaw and Holly. Get him on you. Pass back underneath, now out to the left baseline. A two pointer put up by 21 Skeins. Got it. And a four point lead. South Arc. Shaw takes the three. It's long, no good. Last touch by Cotton. That'll go back to South Arc. Four point lead, 27 23 for South Arc here in Larksburg tonight. They're on the road. Getting hot from three point from the three point line. They've had five, six. They've had six three pointers in the first half. That's six minutes to go. Back out. Here's another three. That's short. I think that was partially tipped. Shaw will let it go to stay. It'll go back to UA Cost right now. Samaya Smith bringing it across for UA Cost. Gives it off to Shaw on the left wing. Cotton on the baseline. Go! Cotton dribbles inside, puts it off the glass, good, the backhanded layup. And she got it, reverse layup there by Jarrah Cotton, five points for her. Another three put up, no good, rebounded by Keanu Holly. Holly gives it off to Smith. Somebody will come across. And Smith wants the two, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Bishop. Bishop trying to dribble inside. Throws it back out to Buford. Now over to 21 Skeins into the corner. Underneath the, and back to the three. It's short. Rebound back to South Arc. Buford trying to take it all the way in. And a charge brought on Buford. As Samaya Smith sets up Draws the charge from Buford. That'll be her second, I would think. Yeah. Buford's second there. Smiley Smith gets the charge and saves the basket as well. 27-25, South Arc with a two-point lead. Five minutes to go in the first half. Looking to Shaw on the left wing. Back out to Cotton. Wants the three, dribbling inside. Backs it back out. Three seconds in the lane, what do we call it? Yep, three in the lane on Fulbright. So we'll go back to South Arc. South Arc leads it by two. Buford for the Lady Stars will bring it across. Gives it off to Smith. Back to Buford, looking at a three. Passes the corner for the three and got it. Another three by South Arc. That's three threes for Bishop. And she hits another one. The reigning threes. Samaya Smith throws one up. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Goes to South Arc. They have a five point lead. South Arc with the lead here in Locksburg. Two pointer put up by Buford. Will not go. And Fulbright comes away with a rebound. Gives it off to Smith. Smith will bring it across for UA Costock. John and Holly out top. Jared Cotton underneath to Fulbright for the two. Gets the basket and he's fouled. Fulbright draws the foul and puts it in off the glass. Good. Fulbright now with her fourth point. She'll go to the line for one. I'm missing one point on this. We'll find that at halftime and see where that came from. Somebody's free throw. Fulbright puts the free throw up and good. Fulbright now with five points for UA Costa. It's a two point lead, South Arc. 
here in Lawrenceburg tonight. A couple of matchups, conference matchups tonight. And reaching foul on Kiana Holly. That'll be Holly's first, I believe. Yep, Holly's first personal. It'll be South Arch ball on the, the baseline. Watch out, watch out! Gets it in. Now back to Buford. Off to Portillo. She drives it in the lane. Puts it up and no good. Gets her on rebound. And stopped from behind by Fulbright. So Portillo will get the basket and goes to the free throw line for one. The first personal on Coriana Fulbright. Portillo. Now with 12 points, can't get it to go from the free throw line. Points for Petillos in the first half. And a charge called against Cotton. South Park draws the charge. South Park has a four point lead. And that's the second on Cotton here in the first half. Four point lead, 32 28. South Park here at Lawrenceburg tonight. At UA Costot's home place. Portillo goes, tries to drive inside, kicks it out for the three. Puts it up long, no good. Rebound by Fulbright. Gives it off to Holly for UA Comstock. Now to Smith. Smith bringing it across to Shaw on the left wing. Shaw looking inside to Fulbright. Does get it to Fulbright. That's free throw line, trying to go inside. Partially blocked. Knocked out of bounds underneath. And last touch by Fulbright. Number 12, Robinson, fighting underneath. 32-28. Buford all the way in, can't get it to go. She's turning up right underneath the basket. Ray Constant with the ball with two and a half minutes to play in the first half. It is Shaw to Holly on the left wing. Holly dribbling up top. Gives it off to Smith. Knocked away, but it'll stay with you. A cost out on the side. Shot clock at 11. 32 28. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Knocked away underneath. Cotton tries to go underneath the basket. That was tipped away. And South Park comes away with it. South Arch up top, into the corner. Potios wants the three. It's long, no good. Maya Smith with the rebound. Two minutes to go. Off to Holly, will take the three. Got it! Two, splash! Kiana Holly with her second three. The only two threes for Ray Comstock in the first half. It looks like about ten of them, or eight of them. Let's see how many actually. Seven of them for South Arch. Three is put up, no good. Buford and Kiana Holly comes away with it. Trip it up another three. Got another one. Kiana Holly with the third three. She's beginning to light it up from three point range. Ray Costop retakes the lead, 34 32. Corner three by number five, Bishop. Bishop hits another one. Bishop has four. 12 points for Bishop. Holly backs it up, throws up one is short. Fulbright gets a rebound. Picks it up and it's down underneath the goal by number 12, Robinson. So Coriani Fulbright will go to the line for two. The foul goes against Robinson, who picks up her third. So Fulbright goes to the line for two. Robinson, on the other hand, for South Art with her third personal foul. And Fulbright picks up the first one, another Manette. <laughs> Kiana Holly in double figures for UA Costa with 11. Fulbright gets her second one to go. Fulbright has uh, seven points, UA Costa. Trap in the corner on number three, trying to get it away. Knocked away by Fulbright. Now it goes to Holly, who's open for three. And 
It's an air ball. You call that one a pass. So Shaw gets the rebound. And he goes up and he's fouled. That's a foul on number five, Bishop. So Sierra Shaw goes to the line for two for UA Kostak. Skinny spread the lead a little bit. It's a one-point lead now for UA Kostak, 36-35. First one put up, rolls around, and falls through. Shaw with her fifth point here in the first half. And a chance here at the free throw line to make it six for Shaw. She got it. Hits them both. Shaw spreads the lead to three, 38-35. Matias wants to go to the basket. Blocked by Fulbright. He touched the baseline, so it will stay with South Park. But UA Kostak with a three-point lead, 38-35, with 47 seconds to go in the first half, second period, second quarter. Knocked away by UA Kostak. Holly gets a piece of it. And Fulbright gives it off to Samantha Smith. 42 seconds, throws it up. Smith with the long three. A running three. Running jumper, three-pointer for Samaya Smith. The lead goes to six. Ray Kostat leads it by six, 41-35. We'll be back after this. I'm Barbara Dixon, and this is Anna Belcher, and we're with Southern Bank or Bank. Southern is a different kind of bank. Um, we are a designated community development financial institution, and our main focus, our mission, is to be involved in and serve the community. And um, what makes us different is we offer traditional banking services, but we also offer other services um, that help strengthen our community to teach them financial literacy and to help them um, to build credit, understand credit, and to uh, make good, wise choices. Some of the programs we offer, we have a learning center that covers everything from savings to loans to small business, housing, there's also a section of that uh, website that is designated for youth that's broken up. Sure they bring it back there. That's longer than I thought it was. Sorry about that. But uh, UA Kostad takes a six point lead now just before the half with 37 seconds to go in the first half. Leads it by 41 35. South Park was lighting it up from three point line at eight threes in the first half. Tiana Holly has three. There's another three put up by South Park. Shaw gets the rebound, throws it out. Samaya Smith comes away with it, went through the hands of Holly. There's a foul from behind, I believe, on number 11. That's against Portillo's. Not a good foul with 15 seconds to go way out on the court. Portillo picks up, Portillo's picks up her second personal way out on the court. So, and that'll send Samaya Smith to the free throw line for two shots, 15 seconds to go in the uh, second quarter, the first period of play, or first half of play. 42-35, seven point lead for UA Kostad over South Park, and Smith will have another one from the free throw line. Looks at it, tips it up, got them both. Smith now with five, make it six points for Smith. She has a three-pointer as well. UA Kostad has four three-pointers, one by Smith, the other three by Kiana Holly. But eight three-pointers for South Park, losing the handle. And with eight seconds to go, eight and a half, they can get a shot off here. UA Kostak, eight seconds to get the shot off. Seven, six, five, four, three, Fulbright. Two, one, Fulbright throws it up and get it. That's the end of the first half, 43-35. At the half, UA Kostat with an eight point lead, 43-35. We'll be back in a moment with more from halftime here at UA Kostat. Let's take a look at the scoring first of all here in a moment. This live stream broadcast on Ed 88 is made possible by Satellite Service Company in Nashville, your authorized Dish Network dealer. Satellite Service Company and Dish Network serve the entertainment needs of the entire area. You like sports? Dish Network Sports Packages offer every sports fan exciting action featuring your favorite teams. The Dish Tailgater portable satellite TV antenna lets you watch TV wherever you are, at the lake, 
in the mountains or at the tailgate party outside the stadium. The Dish Hopper gives you the power to transform your computer, smartphone, or tablet into your TV and enjoy your home TV anywhere. Special discounts and packages available to fit any budget. Satellite Service Company, 301 South Main Street in Nashville. My parents are feeding us boring chicken again. Mobilize all units. I worry about my little sister. Put that down, sir. Step away from the microwave. Pilgrim's chicken. Try it today. It'll kick the boring right out of you. For those living together and those living apart. For classmates, graduates, and teachers making the best of it. For the restaurants delivering to our doorsteps. For the frontline workers putting it on the line every single day. For this great nation determined to be stronger on the other side. Thanks to all of you, we'll be together again. Raising a family today costs just slightly less than the national debt. There's braces, music lessons, clothes, groceries, doctor bills, insurance, cars, college, and the expenses just grow as the kids get older. It takes a good banking relationship with a bank that's small enough to know you and your banking needs, yet big enough to serve them. We've helped a lot of folks with the financial side of raising a family. First State Bank, member FDIC. We're big on you. We're big on you. Come from all over to Bailey's Discount Building Supply in Queen because they help build the best for less. When you walk in the doors, you'll see everything from the do-it-yourselfer to the general contractor. They have warehouses stocked with doors and windows, wall paneling and flooring. At those big chain stores, you may be left by yourself to look for something all day. But at Bailey's, there's plenty of help. And of course, the lumber yard has everything from plywood to lumber and sheetrock to insulation. Inside, there's lining, plumbing parts, cabinets, cooking supplies, and even a cell on generators. Open Monday through Saturday in DeQueen. Bailey's Building Supply, 870-642-2851. Safety is a factor that shouldn't be overlooked when it comes to your car. Your vehicle needs safe engine parts or brake pads, but it also requires a reliable set of tires. Discount Tire and Alignment has a large selection of automotive tires that fit any car, truck, or SUV. They'll provide a safe and comfortable experience on the road whether you're driving a short distance or for hours on the highway. It's smartness all around. Find everything from all season to specialty tires, oil changes, alignments, a clean facility, and friendly customer service. Discount Tire and Alignment, Highway 71 North in Queen, 870-642-5100. your season of life, you'll find the financial products, digital tools, and friendly service that make you feel right at home with Farmers Bank. Come home to Farmers Bank. Okay, we're back here. I was missing one, one of the, or two of these at the half, and I think I've got everything said. Let's like, take a look at South Oak Lady Stars in the first half. They, they did line it up from the three-point line. Bishop had four threes for South Arc. The lady starts, you got 12 points. Also 12 points for Portillo. She has a couple of threes and uh, uh, she has three two-pointers and a couple of three-pointers. Also with 12 points for Portillo. Now Buford has seven points. She's got a couple of threes and a free throw. Two points each for McBride and for Skanes. UA Costats, uh, they didn't have, let's see, they had four, six, eight, they had eight threes in the half. Uh, UA Costat had four. 
and three of those were by Kiana Holly. So she leads all the scoring, or the leads the scores for uh, Yuri Kostat with 11 points, only one in double figures. Eight points for Samaya Smith. She had a three pointer as well, uh, two pointer and three free throws. Seven points for Coriana Fulbright. She had a couple of baskets and three free throws. Six points for Sierra Shaw. A couple of two point baskets and a couple of free throws. Five points tonight for Jared Cotton. A couple of baskets and a free throw. And four points for Sophia Reyes. A couple of two point baskets. And then on the other one, let me see, was Alexa Fernandez. She had a couple of free throws tonight. So it's 43. 35, eight point lead at the half for UA Costa over South Ark Lady Stars. And we're going to take another break and be back in a moment here on UA Costa's at 88. It's time now for our fun fact of the day, brought to you by Don's Easy Pay. And in our studio this morning, we are visiting with Don Humphrey. Hi, Don. Hi. And Jim Washburn. Hello. I had no idea you were up this time of day. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got, you, the, the, both of these folks are on our Nashville campus. And uh, Don, we'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Uh, well, I'm the TANF coordinator for adult education, and TANF has a grant that will pay for uh, training, short-term trainings. Uh, we have uh, money to pay for things like CDL, CNA, um, any short-term uh, program like the um, pharmacy tech, um, things like that, that you can do within like a semester or so. And even, uh, even a year-long program like welding would be probably be approved. Oh. So um, this is an opportunity for uh, students uh, who are, G they could be GD students or they could just be uh, employability students, which means they're working toward um, improving their employment skills. Um, both are qualified for this grant. So we encourage any Anyone who, who wants to get training and is looking for a source of funding to come see us and see what we can do for you. Okay, so now Jim, what exactly is it that you do for the college? Well, actually, the uh, SNAP ENT program, which I am the coordinator of, is the original program which TANF, which is what Don does, uh, erupted from because I have, I have, I work with people who need jobs and are on SNAP services, that's a, that's a requirement. And what we try to do is help these people, guide them, find out whatever kind of uh, occupation or what kind of skills they're seeking, and we send them to the proper place. I have many, many partnerships, including with Don in the Adult Education Center, uh, and I work with referrals that are sent by the state in order for me to be able to help them with the ultimate purpose of getting off food stamps and developing a career. And that's the life management skills that we try to teach and we try to promote. Uh, I would have to say that uh, COVID-19 really has put a, put a problem check on that and we're just now beginning to see progress in that direction. So we're glad of that and I enjoy the opportunity to help people. That's the reason I was hired. I'm not one of your spring chickens. <laughs> As you well know, <laughs> we have the, we share the same gray hair. <laughs> but uh, it's an opportunity that I've always enjoyed. I've, I did it before when I was working in Lubbock, Texas with the school system. And this is just a, another way for me to enhance that particular goal to help people. Um, the one thing that I can say is when a person truly is ready to become a citizen, to take up the fight to become responsible for themselves, we're the people to come to. We're going to help you. And I also want to mention our wage program. It's a new certificate from the state of Arkansas. Um, it stands for Workforce Alliance for Growth in the Economy. And there are several facets to it. There's a, um, a component of um, resume assistance, um, also cover letter uh, references, interview prep, uh, mock interviews. We do um, 
there is a, a computer literacy, digital literacy component, uh, financial literacy component, and just employment skills component. And all those combined, um, if, if someone is giving, getting um, ready to go into the workforce or maybe a um, teen, a 17, 18, 19 year old, um, or if someone is having problems finding a job or um, getting back into the workforce, uh, we're here to help them to uh, look for jobs online, apply for jobs. And so we, we offer employment services for anyone who needs it. To back that up, uh, so many of the people that I get, and probably Don too, uh, are absolutely, they, they don't understand what they need to do next. And to guide them if they're willing to be helped and they want to be helped, you're going to see such a change and you're going to see success. We've and, seen a lot of successes. You know, we have. And we work together to, and it's a very yeah. fulfilling thing yeah. to work together in this way. That's right. And, um, you know, I send him students, he sends me students, and together we're able to get them trained and get them on a job. And we work very closely with uh, employers to try to determine exactly what they're looking for at that particular time and see if we can possibly fulfill their goals too because without them our job is meaningless you mentioned the fact that you send each other students but everybody you deal with in each office uh, they're not necessarily students no um i mean sometimes people just come in you know looking for jobs and they say can you help me with an interview i mean can you help me with a resume or an interview or um, can you help me apply for jobs online? So many are required to be done online now. Uh, applications are uh, required to be uh, completed online and if people have not had experience with that. And so we help them to get that done. And then sometimes um, if it's someone who is on SNAP, then I say, hey, I know, uh, I know someone who can help you because you're on SNAP. Um, and Jim has lots of connections with uh, local employers and he the, he could possibly help you and so you know I, I might send him someone or he might have someone who's needing um, a resume in his you know and he'll send them to me so uh, he, he's the one who has all the uh, connections in the community really and I'm the one who does a lot of the you know the prep stuff is like the resumes and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah my job is to guide them Don's job is to fulfill the guidance <laughs> and the completion of the project. Uh, I am fortunate enough that even though referrals have come down to a bare minimum anymore as far as referrals from the DHS offices, we get a lot of people who are on SNAP that are presently going to school who will, once they find out about the programs, finding out about the programs is the key. Yeah. Then they are ready to come to you to ask for help, and that's my, wonderful. My favorite part of the job is doing resumes and getting people employment ready. That's my absolute favorite part of my job, between GED, ESL, and everything. It's getting people back in the workforce and getting them job ready. I always feel like if I can put somebody to work, if I can send them to Don or the other adult education teachers first, let them to it let them at least get the skill of developing a resume, knowing what it takes, then we've made a big change. I just wondered, have you had people come in your office and say, well, I knew you have, well, what kind of work skills do you have? Well, I really don't, I don't do much. Oh, we're gonna have to bring it back here. You know, I say a housewife, a house, uh, a husband or wife. Back here at the Bank of Lockersburg Historic Gymnasium. It is an eight point lead, 43.35 for Uray Costot here at the half. Again, leading the scores. Uray Costot, Kiana Holly had three threes and 11 points. Underneath, Hannah McLean back in. She got a couple of quick early ones. Holly puts up the three, can't get it to go. They go back to South Park. South Ark Lady Stars with the ball. Hannah McLean 
got a couple of quick ones the first half and took her out. And she didn't come back in. So now she's back in in the second half with the two fouls. Into the corner for three. Rolls around, falls. Uh, Hannah McClain quick to get up and get the rebound. Get it off to Samaya Smith who will bring it across. Going to need those rebounds this half. Will Chastot with the ball. Jared Cotton at the free throw line. Reyes gives it back out to Smith. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Smith looks over to Holly. Inside the McLean, through the arms of McLean. Out of bounds underneath. Here we go back to Southart. So Southart will have it. Underneath. To number 30, Milton. And that'll stay with South Hawk on the baseline. 43 35, eight point lead. It's getting underway here in the second half, third period, third quarter. Trios. Over the left wing, Buford takes the three. It's long, no good. McLean goes up for the rebound. Tie it up underneath between McLean and number two, Smith. And that ball will belong to, possession area belongs to UA Costa. Pass into Jared. Jared will hold it up top, give it off to Smith. Smith starting to set up the offense. Reyes at the free throw line, dribbles. Back out to Smith. Smith on the left wing. Ray Costa with the ball, McLean up top, inside to Reyes. Now over to McLean. And a charge call on Hannah McLean, picks up her third. Third person on McLean here, early going of the second half. Buford drives in, throws it up. Can't get it to go, but uh, Holly comes away with the rebound, gives it off to Smith. McLean open for the three. Get it! Hannah McLean with the three pointer. She'll light it up from the three point line. Number five, McBishop over to the corner for the three. Can't get it. Cooled off a little bit so far. That was number two, Smith. Holly will take the three, pitch it up. It's long, no good, but Reyes with the rebound and a putback. For the two, off the window. Sophia Reyes with the two points, and six points for her now in the ball game. Over for the three, that's Bishop. Can't get this one to go. Smith with the rebound. Smith gonna dribble all the way down. Gets it back out to Holly, now to the left wing. McLean driving all the way in, puts up a shot, no good. Reyes over the back, falls for the personal. Uh, against Reyes, that'll be her first or second? First. Okay, first person on Sophia Reyes. 7-17 to go. It's a seven-point lead for UA Costa, 48-35. Or 13-point lead, 48-35. Another one put up by Portillos. Can't get it to go. They're cold at the beginning of the second half here. South Park. Holly lights it up again from three points. 51-35, 16-point lead. Holly with another three. Underneath through the hands of Milton, but that's going to stay with Southart on the baseline. Shot put up, no good. Foul coming up with a rebound is Smith and Jared Cotton fouls her from behind. We'll go back to South Arc, they'll have it on the baseline with the possession. Trailing 51 35, 18 point lead, a 16 point lead. A rebound and put back by Portillos, tipped away, and it'll stay with South Arc. 16 point lead. UA Costat here in the third quarter. On the backside, Portillo sneaks down, gets the pass inbounds, and puts it up and in. Portillo now with the two. 
Hannah McLean, long three off the front of the iron, no good. Rebounded by Bishop. Bishop gives it off to Portillos. Portillos back out top to Buford. Buford underneath to Milton for the two. 51-39, it's a 12-point lead. UA tie stop with six minutes to play in the third. Jerry Cotton trying to take it inside. Dribble throws a handle on it. And coming away with it. Buford throws up a little running jumper from inside the paint. Got it to go. Buford now with nine points. Hannah McLean on the dribble. Chased by Portillos. Jerry Cotton dribbling down the baseline. Is knocked away by Buford. It will stay with you at Costop on the baseline. 51-41 lead, 10-point lead for UA Costa in the third. Underneath to McLean, puts it up and in. Hannah McLean with a two. He's got five points on the second half. 53-41, 12-point lead, UA Costa, 5.25 to go. Three-pointer put up by Buford. She got it. Buford now with 12 points in the ball game. Five in the second half. Travel call on the UA Costat in on Kiana Holly. And that'll be a turnover. Goes back to South Art Lady Stars. Five minutes to go in the third period of play. 53-44, a nine-point lead for UA Costat. Taken away by Jerry Cotton. Jerry going in for the layup. And got it. Cotton now with seven points. Two in the second half. Portillos wants the three, won't go. Long rebound, chased down by Kiana Holly. Holly needing help, gets it off to Smith. Down court to McLean. McLean driving to the basket, gives it off to Reyes. Reyes puts up the two, no foul call. And a foul now on number 30, Milton. So Hannah McLean will go to the free throw line. Milton's call for her third personal foul. She'll check out. No, that'll be Portillo's checking out. Milton gets her third personal for South Arc, and Hannah McLean for UA Costa goes to the free throw line, puts the first one up and in. McLean now with six points, all in the second half here. She had two quick fouls in the first half and uh, checked out. Never checked back in. She hits both of these. She goes to seven points for now for Hannah McLean all in the second half. Up top to Buford for South Arc, inside. Now back out, round the horn to Buford for another three, that's to the right, no good. McLean pulls down the rebound for UA Costa. Jerry Cotton dribbling, puts it back out to McLean for the three. She's fouled and will get three free throws. Fouled by Buford, Buford picks up her third. Buford picks up her third. That'll send McLean to the line for three. And Cotton will check out. Shaw checking in for UA Costat. We got Jet Holly. Toyana Fulbright also checking in for UA Costat. First one put up by Hannah McLean. We got the basket. McLean now with eight points. That one rolls around, falls through with nine. She could go to double figures. She could quickly get to double figures all here in the second half. Lead all the scoring in the second half. She does. Now with 10 points for Hannah McLean. Dribble inside, and that Shaw will trip her up as it goes against Sarah Shaw. It'll be her first person. Foul on the court. Buford will take it out underneath for South Arc on the baseline. Buford trying to get it in to Milton. Knocked away, picked up by Holly. Holly gives it off to Smith, the UA Costa. Drives it to Hannah McLean on the left wing. Underneath the Fulbright for the two. Four on a Fulbright. The ninth point of the game. The basket underneath. Darden now at the three point. Buford takes it in, running jumper. 
air ball picked up by Fulbright. Now flashing for the steal, it's Buford. Well, last touch by her out on the baseline. That'll belong to uh, UA Southside in the backcourt on the baseline. 62-44, an 18-point lead. UA Costot here in the second half with 3.33 to go in the third. 3-3-3 three, three, three in the three. Need 30 seconds on the shot clock. They'll reset that, get it back to backcourt on the baseline, and Smith will get it into Holly back to Smith. Three and a half to go in the third. Inside the Shaw tries to put up a shot. And it's fouled underneath the basket by number two, Smith. And Shaw will go to the line for two for UA Costop for the Lady Colts. 18 point lead for the Lady Colts, 62 44, with 320 to go. As Shaw hits the first one, Shaw has seven points. She had six in the first half. She has free throw here in the second half. That makes it seven and a chance to make it eight right here. Can't, can't get that one to go. She'll stay with seven. Buford on the dribble. Back out to Smith. Smith across to Buford. Buford inside the three-point line. Puts up the two and got it. Buford now with 14 points in the ball game for South Arc. She leads their scoring. In the corner to McLean, underneath the Fulbright, puts up the two, can't get it. McLean with the rebound and the putback and is fouled by number 12, Robinson, who picks up her fourth. Robinson picking up her fourth will stay in the ball game. Yep. Robinson stays in. Checking out, it's going to be Chris, Chris Mall. And Hannah Blunt McLean goes back to the free throw line for UA Costop. Picks up another free throw. McLean now in double digits. She's at 11. All here in the second half. She didn't get to play much in the first half after picking up two quick ones. 12 points for Hannah McLean. Sixty-five, forty-six, nineteen. 46, 19, let's see, 19 point lead for UA Costot. Buford wants to drive in, throws it up off the glass, good. Buford all the way to the basket. Buford's got 16 points. Flashes for Steele Smith, tries to get it inside, throws it away, McLean comes up with it though. McLean tries to throw one up underhanded, underneath, and it's fouled by number 21 Skeins. Skeins picks up her first. McLean back to the free throw line where she's getting all her points here in the second half. She's hit seven free throws here in the second half and throws up another one. Oh, jinxed her. So she missed the front end. She'll get another one here. Got the second one to go. Eight points at the free throw line, second half, 13 total. Tios gives it off to Buford. Now to Smith in the corner, and he's double teamed. Portillos picks it up, goes in. A blocking foul on me. Portillos to go to the free throw line. That's on Samaya Smith. No volume. I've got it showing volume. Somebody said I didn't have volume. It's showing it's going through. So Portillos will go to the free throw line. And Smith will pick up her first personal foul. It's showing I do. I don't know what I do, what I've got. It may be low, but I, it's showing that I got some. This is... Portillo's at the free throw line. I don't know if she hit the first one or not. She missed the second one. And Fulbright picks up the rebound, gives it off to Smith. Smith, it's the three. Samaya Smith with the three-pointer. Now in double figures with 11. 
Buford takes it out of hand, throws it up off the glass, no good. Fulbright with a rebound. Fulbright gives it off to Smith. Smith down court to Holly. Kiana Holly over to Fulbright gets the pass. Now Southart comes away with it. Smith on the dribble. In the corner, Smith open for three. Throws it up, can't get it to go, but it's fouled by Smith. Yep, fouled by Samaya Smith, who picks up her second. That'll send the other Smith to the free throw line for three. That's Logan Smith, number two for South Park. Logan's first one up and in. That's her first point of the ball game here at the free throw line in the second half. Logan Smith puts up the second one, also got it. And Samaya Smith is the one that fouled, picks up her second foul. And Logan Smith hits all three. She got three points on the night. McLean over to Smith. Samaya Smith back to McLean on the left wing. McLean driving to the basket. Puts up the shot off the glass, no good. Fulbright with a rebound, puts it back up, no good. And McLean tries to throw it up. Portillo still in. Kicks it out. For the three, that's number 21. Staines with the three-point bucket. She's got five on the night. Smith on the other end to Holly. Hannah McLean. Hannah McLean goes inside to Fulbright. Kicks it out to Shaw for the three. Got it! She has Shaw with the three-pointer, and she goes to double figures with 10 points. Taken away by Shaw. Buford looking. Going in for the layup. Puts up the left-hand layup. No good. Rebounded by Smith. And a jump ball underneath. Possession there goes to South Park. Lady Stars will get it. 72-55. 17-point lead for UA Costat with 26 seconds to go in the third. I hope there's sound. Somebody said I didn't have sound. Out top to Smith. That is picked up. Let's see what I can do. Let's try another plug here. Let's try this other plug and see if this works. No, can't use that. Inside, Coriana Fulbright moves the handle. Smith for the shot. Out top to Holly. Holly looking for three, Fulbright, and shot clock violation. No, it's not a shot clock violation. It's the end of the third. That's where we stand. So our score at the end of three, it's UA Costat, 72, and South Arc, 65. 17-point lead for UA Costat. We'll be right back. And we're back here at Bank of Locksburg, historic Bank of Locksburg Gymnasium. UA Costat, 17 point leads. We start the fourth quarter, fourth period to play, second half. And Buford takes a three. It's rebounded by Southar. Portillo gets the rebound, puts it back up and in, and it's fouled. Portillo's with the baskets, and we'll go to the line for one. 72 57, 15 point lead by UA Costat. And picking up the fouls, number three, Hernandez. That's
that's her first. Portillos gets the free throw. And it is a 14 point lead for UA Costa. Hernandez into Sophia Reyes. Back over to Victoria Burns in the corner. Hernandez inside to Reyes. Underneath to Hernandez. Knocked out underneath and a belong to Southart. 20 to go in the ball game. Lee Costot substituted. We've got Victoria Burns in there, Sophia Reyes, and Alexis Hernandez. Cotton stayed in, McLean stayed in. Three pointer put up in the corner by number three, McBride, who hits her first three of the night in the second half. McBride has five points on the night. Hernandez inside underneath to Reyes. Turn around and jump her from underneath. Got it to go. Sophia Reyes with her uh, eighth point of the night. Four in the second half, four in the first half. Sophia Reyes over two. Knock you out on the baseline. That's going to stay with South Park. Milton looks like she may have touched that last, but they're going to say, I think uh, Jared Cotton was in there and touched it last. Now to Portillos from 10, can't get it to go. Cotton with a rebound, Jared Cotton. Knocked away by Buford, but Cotton retains it. Victoria Burns picks it up. Burns loses it. Now off to Buford. To Smith driving the baseline. Throws it up, and it's fouled by Reyes. Reyes will pick up the foul. That'll be her second. And that'll send Smith to the line. Logan Smith at the line for two. Smith put the first one up and in. Perfect from the free throw line. She has four for four from the free throw line here in the second half. That's the only point she has tonight. Oh, she didn't miss that one. But Corey Burns has to chase it down for UA Costa. Does get the rebound. Pass it off to McClain. Over to Cotton, who is trying to back it back out. Cotton on the dribble, trying to go baseline. Gives it off to Hernandez for the three. Won't go. Smith, Logan Smith chases it down for Southart. They'll give it off to Buford. Under eight minutes to play in the ball game, inside. Back out to Portillos. Hits the back of the backboard. And we'll go back to UA Costa. Bounced off the rim. Up over the backboard, behind the backboard, and I'll go to UA Costa. UA Costa leading this one by 12, 74 to 62, under eight minutes to play. Reyes, turn around, jumper, no good. It'll be partially tipped. Portillos comes away with a rebound. Portillos on the other end, jump ball underneath. That'll belong to UA Costa. Jared Cotton reaches in, grabs the ball, holds it. Ties it up, possession error goes to UA Costa. So a 12 point lead, 74 62. Seven and a half minutes to play in the final period. Victoria Burns get it off to Hannah McLean, chased down by Portillos. McLean trying to get it up. It's found underneath by number 30, Milton, who picks up her fourth. Maybe. Nope, they're going to call that on two. That's uh, Smith's fourth. Saw that one on Smith, McLean to the free throw line, got it up and in. Hannah McLean's at the free throw line, has nine points in the second half. She has 14 all here in the second half and really uh, come in the ball game and well, you get 10 from the free throw line now. 15 points for Hannah McLean, 10 of those from the free throw line. Buford with it. Milton, or Portillos, coming away with it. Down the court to Sophia Reyes for the two. Reyes gets another one underneath the basket. She has 10 points now. She goes to double figures. Ray Costot takes a 16 point lead, 78 to 62, and under seven minutes to play in the ballgame. Don's Easy Pay has been serving families in Southwest Arkansas and Southeast Oklahoma for over 30 years. Don's Easy Pay is a family-owned business. 
They carry name brand home furnishings for every room in the house. Living room, dining room, bedroom furniture, name brand kitchen appliances, and electronics too. At Don's Easy Pay, you can rent to own or purchase on the spot with 120 days same as cash. At Don's Easy Pay, you can even rent to own tires. And at Don's Easy Pay, they deliver, taking time to take care of our customers. It's Don's Easy Pay. And we're back, South Ark with the ball here, under seven minutes to play after the uh, timeout. Ray Costot leading it by 16, 78 62 over South Ark. Ray Costot at home tonight in the historic Bank of Larksburg Gymnasium. Portillos wants to put up a three, can't get it to go. The rebound goes to Hannah McClain. McClain gives it off to Burns. Burns behind the back dribble, chase down. Underneath to McClain for the two, can't get it to go. Taken away by Portillos. Now everybody chases Sophia Reyes on the floor, gives it off to Hernandez. Hernandez down to court to McLean. Over to Reyes for the two. It's fouled underneath the basket by number 30, Milton. So Sophia Reyes will go to the free throw line. And call for the foul. That's Milton who picks up her fourth. Reyes at the free throw line for two shots. First one up and in. Reyes also in double figures now with 11. She has seven points in the second half, four in the first half, 11 points on the night for Reyes. And another one free throw coming along and got it up and in. 12 points for Sofia Reyes. Over to Portillos to Buford. Back to Portillos. Portillos driving in the lane. Puts up a running jumper, got it to go. Number 11, Portillos. Portillos now with uh, 19 points, I believe, in the ball game. Running jumper from the free throw line from Victoria Burns with her first points of the night here in the second half. Buford takes it all the way to the hole. Throws it up off the glass, no good. And it's tied up underneath Jared Cotton with it, along with number three, McBride for South Ark, and it'll belong to South Ark after the possession area. So Buford will take it out on the baseline for South Ark. This is kind of a funny play looking with all the uh, South Ark Lady Stars in the corner. Here they go. Portillo's gonna take it inside. And a blocking foul. Basket's gonna be good. Ray is calling for the foul too. Basket is good. Ray is calling for the personal. And Portillos back to the line for one. I think the basket is good. Let's see. Put it up and in. Yep, had to be there. Underneath, Jared Cotton tries to put it up. Reyes backs it up, puts it up, no good. Knocked away, Cotton inside to Reyes. Reyes off the glass, good underneath. Powers her way into the paint and gets the two. Over to Smith, into the corner. For the three, number five, air ball by Bishop. And Hernandez picks it up, gives it off to Victoria Burns. Burns up top. Hannah McLean at the free throw line on the dribble. Gives it off to Jerry Cotton. Now tries to get it back to McLean. McLean is fouled by number two, Smith, who picks up her fifth. But that's her fifth. Smith picks up her fifth and we'll have to check out. And here comes number three, McBride in. And Hannah McLean goes to the line for two shots. Smith had four three-pointers in the first half. McLean hits the first one. 
11 free throws here in the second half by McLean. She's got 16 points all here in the second half. 17. I believe she averages uh, eight, let's see, about 14 points a game. She's got 18 tonight. Charge called on Portillos as she drives to the basket. That's Jara Cotton picking up the charge. Portillas called for her third. Into McLean from Hernandez. McLean driving all the way to the basket. Throws one up, can't get it to go. Pass down court, overshoots everybody. That was Smith trying to hit Portillo's down court. So to go back to UA Costat, UA Costat has a 19 point lead, 86 67, with just under five minutes to play. Victoria Burns dribbling out front, bumped by Buford. Buford will pick up her fourth. That was seeing Victoria Burns to the line. She has two points tonight. A two pointer here in the second half. She goes to the free throw line. First three throws of the night. Throws the first one up. Got it. Three points for Burns now. And Buford picks up her fourth first one as Burns hits them both. She has four now. Four and a half minutes to play, 88-67, 21-point lead, UA Costat. Portillos throws up a long three, hits the back of the iron, no good. Chased down by McLean, I think, and Smith. No, it was uh, Bishop. Bishop last touched it. So belong to UA Costat here in the white. Victoria Burns up top over to Alexis Fernandez. Running jumper from seven foot. Can't get it to go, but it's fouled by number three, and that goes against McBride. That'll be McBride's second personal foul. Lexus Hernandez, who has uh, two points on the night, both from the free throw line, hits her third free throw. She's three for three from the line tonight. She got another one coming up and hits them both. Four for four from the line tonight, four points for Alexis Hernandez. Bishop off to Portillos in the corner. Tipped away, last touch by Hernandez of UA Cossack. That'll stay with you, uh, South Art, Lady Stars. Inside, back out. Bishop dribbles, tries to throw it inside. It's taken away by Burns. Burns going to back it back out, give it off to Jared Cotton. Cotton gives it off to Hernandez, open for the three. Just flash, got it. Lexus Hernandez with a three-pointer and nine points. Or six points, I'm sorry. No, seven points. Seven points for her, Hernandez. Buford trying to dribble inside, backs up, falls down. And that goes against Burns. Out of control, falling over and called the foul with her back. Let's see how that happens. Back falling down, losing her balance, call for the foul. Burns within the corner, gets it to Portillo's, turn around jumper, got it from eight. Eight footer for Portillo's, gets another two. Burns almost pulls up from free throw line, throws it over to Hernandez, stolen away by Buford. Buford gives it off the three pointer, put up, no good. That was by number 21, Skeins. Hernandez on the other end gets it in to Coriana Fulbright. Back out to Hernandez for the three. Got another one. Hernandez picks up another three. Hernandez now in double figures with 10. Tries to get it inside. It's taken away by Shaw. Jump ball possession here. Back to UA Costat to go the other end. 96 69 17. A 27 point lead. 96 69 27 point lead for UA Costat here in the fourth. Under three minutes play. McLean jumper from the free throw line. Got it. McLean gets the two. Big second half. I think she's got 
20 points here in the second half. 20 for McLean. Bunch of those from the free throw line. Maybe 12 of them from the free throw line. Number 11, Portillos puts up the three-pointer. Can't get it to go. The rebound. Good block out by number three, McBride of South Ark. But uh, Milton throws it away, and here goes Burns on the other end to go for the basket. Goes for the layup. And got it. Victoria Burns with another two. She's got six all in the second half. Buford tries to go to the basket and does. Throws up a shot, air ball underneath. Get up a little too softly. Shaw comes away with it. Hernandez throws up a three. Can't get it to go. Portillos chases down the rebound, goes the other end. Gives it off to 23 for the three. Got it. That is Dixon with the three-pointer. Victoria Burns on this end. Underneath the three on a full break. For the two, it rolls around, won't fall. Fulbright almost gets a steal on the other end. Underneath to Milton, bounces around, falls through. Milton now with four. Colts lead at 100 to 74, a 26 point lead. Hannah McLean on the other end, throws it up underhand, can't get it to go. Portillos comes away with it. Buford back to Portillos for the two. And a timeout called South Ark. So we'll take one, two. We'll be right back in a moment on UA Casa. Wilkerson Funeral Home was established by the Wilkerson family in 1929. Fred Wilkerson Sr. built a reputation on serving others, putting families first, and operating with the highest standards of professionalism. With locations in Dequeen and Dirks, families of Southwest Arkansas continue to choose Wilkerson Funeral Home for their dependability, professionalism, and a staff that has acquired over 125 years of combined experience in the funeral business. Supporting our community and area schools, Wilkerson Funeral Home, and online at wilkersonfuneralhomes.com. UA Casa will have the ball leading 100. They're at the century mark, 100 to 76 over the South Ark Lady Stars. Burns for Hernandez, now inside to Fulbright, underneath to Hernandez, gets the two. Hernandez with a two-pointer, she's in double figures. Hernandez with uh, 12 points on the night. All 10, or 10 of those in the first half. Portillo's trying to take it inside, and a blocking foul on Fulbright. As Portillo's pushes her way into the paint. And Portillos will go to the free throw line. Portillos with a bunch of points. She had 12 in the first half. She's got 14 in the second half. She's got 26 points on the night. This will make it 27. Portillos with another one coming up from the free throw line. 102.77. A 25 point lead, 78 now as she hits them both. Portillos, as UA Costa out with the ball, gets it inside to Coriana Fulbright. Spins, turns, off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Southart, coming away with it. McBride gives off to Buford. Buford on the dribble, tries to go inside. Knocked away by Shaw, or a foul on Hernandez. That'll be Hernandez's third, I think, second or third? Second. Alexis Hernandez picks up her second. Buford goes to the line for two. Buford has, she had seven in the first half. She has nine in the second half, 16 for Buford tonight. She's trying to pick up one more from the free throw line. 16 points, second one up, no good. But Buford gets her own rebound as she sneaks in behind Hernandez to pick it up. Three-pointer put up, no good by 23, Dixon. Hernandez gets the uh, rebound on the other side. Eight, seven seconds, Victoria Burns will back it back out. Four seconds to play, off to Hernandez on the right wing. And the final is UA Constant wins this one. 102 to 78, we'll have some scoring, a scoring summary, unofficial scoring summary. 
uh, after this timeout here on UA Car Starts at 8 a.m. Jake from State Farm. What's good? No, Patrick? Nah, fam. Just your typical sneakerhead working here for the employee discount. But speaking of deals, I heard regular guys like me are getting the Patrick price. That can't be real, right? Listen, State Farm offers rates that fit any budget, even yours, typical sneakerhead. Wow, just anyone now? Yeah. Man, these just sold out then. For surprisingly great rates that fit any budget, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. Your local State Farm insurance agent in DeQueen is Luke Billingsley, 870-642-2157. If it's an outage, you should report it to Swepco using their mobile app. But if you're looking to replace your light bulbs, I have an idea. You should consider changing to LED bulbs. They use at least 75% less energy than traditional bulbs, which means saving you a lot of money. They can also last at least 25 times longer and emit very little heat. You can also get LED bulbs that change color, are remote controlled, and they can even play music. They'll even drive your kids to summer camp. So what are you waiting for? Switch to LED bulbs today. And what if I want to change my plan? State Farm's here to help. What if I want to change sports? Newcomer Chris Paul is maintaining a narrow lead in these final meters. But here comes an opponent closing the gap. One foot in front of the other. They are battling it out. And Chris Paul edges ahead. Those are the hips of a champion. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And this is my McDonald's order. I get a Big Mac, Chicken McNuggets, fries, and a Sprite with sweet and sour and barbecue sauce. But I like to mix it all up. So I'm going to put some fries on my Big Mac. Or top my fries with Chicken McNuggets. That's right. Or make a totally new sandwich like this. As long as you're doing you, you're doing the sweetie now. Order ahead on the McDonald's app. Let's take a look at scoring here in the first half. Let me get something set up real quick. First of all, for the uh, Lady Stars of South Arc in the ball game, it was a big game for Portillos. Her first name is uh, Kylie Portillos of South Arc. She ended with three fouls. She had a bunch of points, though. She had 28 points on the night, 12 in the first half, 16 in the second half, 28 points for uh, Kylie Portillos. Also, uh, double figures tonight for South Arc, 16 points for Buford, for Tazia uh, Buford. Buford. She had seven in the first half, nine in the se second half, 16 points. She had three threes on the night. And uh, Portillos, by the way, had a couple of threes on the night. And also in double figures for South Arc, four threes from Bishop. They were all in the first half. She didn't score in the second half. They held her. So Bishop, that is number five, J.C. Bishop had ended with 12 points, all those from the first half. Then we go to five points each for Skeins and McBride. Also uh, four points each for Smith and Milton. And then three points tonight for Dixon. That'll round out the scoring for South Arc. Maybe missed a point or two at the free throw line. But uh, those, I guess, unofficial. And for UA Costat tonight, UA Costat led it at the end of the first period, 19 to 11. End of the second quarter at the, uh, at the half, UA Costat Lady Colts led that 43-35 at the half. They led at the end of the third period, 72 to 55, UA Costat, and they uh, win that one tonight, 102 by a score of 102 to 78. Victoria Burns, let's see, leading score is gonna be, guess who, McLean, who checked out early 
in the first half with two quick fouls and never came back in. She comes out and has a giant second half with 19 points. Let me make sure that's right. 5, 12, 19. Yep. 19 points for Hannah McLean. 12 of those from the free throw line. And then she had a three pointer, a couple of two point baskets, ends with 19 and led the scoring for UA Constant Lady Colts with just second half play. Then uh, 14 points tonight for Kiana Holly. Also 14 for Sophia Reyes. Kiana Holly had four threes, three of those in the first half. She ended with 11 at the end of the first half, and then one more three added to that. And the second half ended up with 14. Uh, Sophia Reyes ended up with 14. She had four points at the end of the first, or at the end of the first half, yeah. And then 10 points in the second half, ended with 14. Also in double figures, a couple more, three more. 12 points for Alexis Hernandez. She had a couple of threes, two points at the end of the first half, ended up with 10 more, and a couple of those were threes. She had 12 points on the night. Four, uh, also 11 points for Samaya Smith. She had a couple of threes on the nights, eight at the end of the first half, and then another three in the second half, ended with 11. Also in double figures, Sierra Shaw had 10 points on the evening, six at the end of the first half. She had a three-pointer in the second half and another free throw, ended with 10. Those are all the ones in double figures. One, two, three, four, five, six in double figures. You're a Costot Lady Colts tonight here in Locksburg. And then uh, three other scores, seven points for Jared Cotton, five in the first half, two in the second, six points for Victoria Burns. And then uh, all those were in the second half and then two points. No, I'm sorry. Only got two points for Coriana Fulbright, but she had nine total because she had seven in the first half. I didn't see that one. And then two in the second half. She ended with nine total for Coriana Fulbright. Final score again, 102.78. We have... UA Costat Colts coming up. We'll have the uh, starting lineups plus more from the historic Bank of Locksburg Gymnasium. South Ark Stars falling to UA Costat Lady Colts tonight by a score of 102.78. And again, uh, the uh, leading scorer of both teams was Portillos, Kylie Portillos with 28 uh, for UA Costat. Hannah McLean with 19, all of those in the second half. 12 free throws, and then uh, a three-pointer and a couple of baskets as well. So congratulations, Lady Colts, tonight with a win. We'll take a break, be back with more in just a little bit here on UA Costas at 80. Boring chicken special on Salt Lake. My parents are feeding us boring chicken again. Mobilize all units. I worry about my little sister. Put that down, sir. Step away from the microwave. Pilgrim's Chicken. Try it today. It'll kick the boring right out of you. Casatan is launching a brand new aerial lineman training course. This 145 hour clock hour course will offer training in broadband essentials and aerial lineman communications for graduates receiving a career training work ready certificate. The median yearly income for a communications aerial lineman in America is over $60,000 and the industry will need an average of 10,000 new linemen each year for the next 10 years. The UAC Aerial Alignment course will have you job ready in just four weeks, and qualifying participants pay zero tuition. We have the trucks, we have the poles, we have the equipment and the classroom. All we need is you. To find out more, check us out online at www.cccua.edu or call 870-584-1178 or email Continuing Education at cccua.edu. Come train at the college that bestcolleges.com ranks as the number one community college in the state. University of Arkansas, Casa Tide. Graduated uh, from Mexico to the United States when I was six and a half years old. I think I turned seven here. I still remember the day that uh, I came. I came in in a Friday. 
uh, my dad had everything squared out. Like he had it all planned out. We went to church that Sunday. It was all English. I had no idea what the priest was talking about. But because I'm Catholic, I know the routines and everything. So I was able to do some of that stuff. Um, and then Monday, here we go to a school. Uh, in Mexico, we went, I went to school with my siblings from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. And then we walked to our school. We carried our little lunch bag. And then we come to a school where we have to get up early. I have to go in this big yellow bus, which I was afraid of. Not only that, but I get car sick. So you can imagine uh, I, lots of, I struggled for quite a bit. Um, and then you come to, to a school where you can't communicate with your teachers. You can't communicate with your uh, friends. At that time, the Hispanics that we, that were at the week schools at that time were on the same boat that I was. Uh, we really couldn't help each other on the translating or interpreting because they were either just one year ahead of me at the school or just got in like me. So I do remember myself sleeping through the classroom. The only thing I knew to do was math, which I think that's universal numbers translate to all languages, I think. So I was able to do math. Other than that, I think I slept through the whole thing because poor teachers, they didn't know how to go about helping me or me communicating with them. So um, it was a struggle. It was very different, culture shocking. Uh, I learned that we get breakfast in the morning and then we get lunch and then we get to go home. So I wasn't used to that. I was used to carrying my own lunch, whatever I like. And now I'm having to eat this different food, different taste. And it was some difficult times. Um, I could not mingle with my classmates as much because of the language barrier. Once again, we couldn't communicate. So I remember sitting myself back on a bench or somewhere in a corner just watching everybody do their thing and here I am crying because I was crying I was separated from my from my siblings they all went to different classrooms different buildings and then here I am by myself and so it I felt really really bad but in the long run here I am um, I'm a teacher now and I'm in the ESL program position so um, how I wanted to be a teacher, or how I got to this place, is I think to be somebody, you, in my opinion, anyway, you are born with something. And in my situation, I feel I was born to be a teacher. Whether it was in Mexico or here or anywhere, I think I was born to be a teacher. I was born to, to help others. and. Since I was little and I can remember, everything and all I did was related to education. So um, I worked really, really hard uh, in understanding the language. Uh, once again, back in the day, um, there weren't a lot of resources for the Hispanic kids like me. Um, I had to really learn a lot of stuff. and. I don't think teachers, colleges knew exactly how to go about with students like me on helping them find what they needed. So I had to do a lot of research and asking around and not, I don't think Googling at that time. I don't remember if we had Googled at that time, probably did. I'm not that old though, um, but just the struggle to to be where I'm at was not uh, an easy path, but I have always said that easy is not always the best. If you struggled, you value more your your struggle, your path. And I think I'm at that point. Um, my path to where I'm at right now was not as easy, but I know it's not as hard as others. Um, but thanks to all that, I am where I'm at, thanks to my parents that brought me here. 
At that time, when I was six and a half years old, I did not understand why I had to leave everything behind, family, home, everything, school, everything, and come to a place where I had no idea what it was about. To me, it was like moving from Earth to another planet. Uh, so I resented my parents for a good long four years, I think, because I felt they brought me without asking, um, without giving us a heads up of what's going to happen or if they did i was so little i don't i do not remember um but now i think them i think them for what they did because uh, now at my hometown is probably not the best place to be right now because of all the stuff going around but i feel safe in this country i feel uh free and I feel independent. Um, all the struggles that I went through are worth it because now I can uh, value all that struggle and do what I want to do, which is to be a teacher, to work with kids, to work with the community. Now I am bilingual and I can use those skills to help others. My kids, adults, whoever needs me, I'm there to help. So. Um, I value all of that stuff and once again how I got here I think I always wanted to be a teacher and I worked hard for that it wasn't easy but if you have perseverance if you work hard for what you want you can always do it so all you have to do is dream it work for it and then you can make it um, language barrier is not a problem um, no more if you make that as an excuse i'm gonna say no language barrier is not a problem it's all in your head it's all in your heart is what you want for yourself uh, <clears throat> so if you want to succeed in life and you want to succeed in a good way work hard because things are not going to be placed in front of you and make it easy they're going to be hard and the hard path is always the best. The easy path, probably not. Psst. Hey, Jake from State Farm. I want that personal price plan. So how's this for personal? I draw mustaches on players' faces when they're asleep. Coach Reed, you don't need to get that personal to get the State Farm personal price plan. It helps you create an affordable price just for you. Coach, it happened again. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Call it quick to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I'm Barbara Dixon and this is Anna Belcher and we're with Southern Bancor Bank. Southern is a different kind of bank. Um, we are a designated community development financial institution and our main focus, our mission is to be involved in and serve the community. And um, what makes us different is we offer traditional banking services, but we also offer other services um, that help strengthen our community to teach them financial literacy and to help them um, to build credit, understand credit, and to uh, make good, wise choices. Some of the programs we offer, we have a learning center that covers everything from savings to loans to small business, housing. There's also a section of that uh, website that is designated for youth. It's broken up by age groups, so you can get um, financial literacy information for your children on that website. There's a section for senior citizens as well. Um, we also offer free credit review. We will help you pull your free credit report, go over it with you, give you the resources to review it and to know what to look for. We offer a credit builder CD loan to help you start building credit history or to improve your credit history. We also offer free counseling services, whether you wanna just do a budget or just ask questions, uh, that service is free and it's all free to customers and non-customers alike. We offer free home ownership counseling services. 
We offer free income tax preparation through the VITA program. It's a voluntary income tax preparation assistance program. And for consumers who qualify, we prepare their taxes free. We will be doing that right here in the Locksburg branch. A lot of what uh, Southern does is they try to strengthen the community, it, the businesses and individuals a lot. And we are considered, our, one of our models is to be wealth builders for everyone. And one of the primary ways we start that is by teaching savings habits. And Anna is going to tell you a little bit about some of those. We have a few savings products that's going on right now. One is our Roundup Savings. Every time you use your debit card, you can either round up for the next dollar amount or you can round up a, a certain dollar, whether it's one or five, just whatever is convenient for you. And we also have what is called an app that you can download and the app is called Envy. And it is a savings game. It's a hundred days process and you determine how much you want to save in 100 days and every day that you go into the app you open the envelope and it may transfer a dollar it may transfer two dollars whatever is in that envelope on that app that day is how much it transfers your savings account we also have what we call a CD credit builder loan if you are just starting out and getting credit or you have just graduated from school and you're having a hard time uh, getting credit because you have no credit score or even if you've had past uh, negative credit, then you can come in and we can start you out with credit of, of a CD loan and that also gives you a CD. When you pay your loan off, that CD is your money. And Southern uh, believes in Sevier County. We believe in empowering our community and we are thankful to be here in Sevier County and we look forward to serving Sevier County and the people in this community for years to come. We're back here, we're about to get underway. It's, uh, what do we have, about three and a half minutes before game time. UA Costat, this is John Bunyard uh, in for Lauren Hinton, who is at the Nashville Chamber of Commerce Banquet, as well, well as uh, several others. So I'm kind of double duty in tonight. Uh, the PA announcing, live stream, and I don't know what else. I'll probably, I've made it so far, so we'll keep going. The uh, UA Costad Colts tonight getting ready to take on South. Our UA Coast comes in with this. Eight and 17 overall. They're four and five in conference games. And the last time they played, they uh, lost to South Art 80 to 72. That was back on January 25th in El Dorado at their home place. Well, South Ark is 15 and eight overall. They're seven and three in conference. They're here at the historic Bank of Locksburg Gymnasium tonight at UA Costat's home, and uh, we'll get set for basketball action here in just a couple of minutes. Got to do the starting laps. Also coming up this week, though, join us Thursday night right here. Lauren Hinton should be back Thursday night with us as who comes to town? It'll be uh, SAU Tech for a 5.30, 7.30 tip-off. We'll have the live stream, too on ed88radio.com, also on the Ed88 YouTube page. Subscribe, if you will, and uh, it'll give you notifications. Tell us uh, if any changes or whatever, especially when we, get, if we go to conference tournament and uh, we'll tell you when we play, it'll notify you. So uh, subscribe, if you will, tonight. And uh, I'll be sitting in for Lauren tonight and doing the PA here in just a minute, too. Uh, UA Constant Lady Colts win earlier, 102 to 78. They led by eight at the end of the first period, 19 to 11. At half, they led by eight, 43 35. They led by 17 at the end of the third quarter, 72 to 55, and then they go on to win it, 102 to 78. UA Constant wins the first one in the girls' matchup, women's matchup tonight, 102 78. We're getting set for this uh, second ball game. We'll do the lineups. So I'll just ask that you uh, keep it right here as I go to the PA announcing. Also, uh, I want to remind you, coming up Saturday, I think it's makeup games with ASU Mid-South. And I don't have the time on those yet, but uh, we'll notify you next games coming up this Thursday. 
ASU Mid-South coming to town, doing some uh, makeup games coming up this Saturday. Probably two and four, but that's just a guess. Starting laps coming up. Let me set this down for a moment and go to it. Welcome everyone to the historic Megan Fox Group Gymnasium College Basketball tonight. Conference matchup between UA Costa and South Park. Starting lineup, first of all, visiting team of stars. And forward, a sophomore, number four, Jalen Keene. Sophomore guard, number five, Braden Edison. Sophomore guard, number 11, Troy Ramos. Sophomore guard, number 23, Damian Garcia. And a sophomore forward, number 24, Raheem Briggs. Now for UA Costa Colts, head coach Stan Asunu. At four, 6'8 sophomore from Trinidad, Texas, number one, Demaje Hampton. At guard, 6'2 sophomore from Laporte, Texas, number two, Kevon Wally. At guard, 6'5 sophomore from Fort Worth, Texas, number 11, Nick Moye. At guard, a 6'2 sophomore from Springdale, Arkansas, number 20, Terry Gupton. And at board, 6'6 six, six, freshman from Chicago, Illinois, number 34, Kahari Lockins. We're back here on our broadcast as we uh, finish the starting lineups here tonight. UA Costad again starting Hampton, Wally, Moye, Gupton, and Loggins. And South Arc starts with King, Edison, Ramos, Garcia, and Briggs. Getting things set up here again earlier. UA Costad Lady Colts won at 102.78 in the uh, earlier game over South Arc. We're set to go here in the second one. Damage wins the tip, Damage Hampton. And bringing it across is Kayvon Wally. Wally gives it to Gupton in the corner. Gupton brings it back out towards the top. We'll dribble into the free throw line. Pass it back off to Wally. Now back over. Now pass it back over. Pass it back over to Wally. And last touched by South Arc. We'll stay with uh, UA Costa. No score here, We're just getting underway in the second game tonight. Lady Colts won the first one, 102.78. Four seconds on the shot clock. Moye has to do something. Pulls up from 15, got it. Nick Moye with the first basket of the night. The jumper from the baseline from 12, about 12 feet. South Park driving in, loses it off, uh, lost the handle on it, loses it off his knee, coming up with Hampton, gives it over to Loggins. Loggins to Moye. Moye on the drive, backs it back out, gives it up to Wally, back to Moye on the right wing. Trying to back in this defender. Throws up a shot, no good, but Loggins gets the rebound, puts it back up. Can't get it to fall, that was partially blocked. Gupton over to Kahari. Kahari turns. Underneath the Hampton. A pump underneath gets it to go. That was Damage Hampton with the two. Colts lead at 4 0 in the early going. South Arc with the ball. Guarded by Wally. Throws up a three pointer and got it. That's number 11, Ramos. Ray Costop leads it 4 3. Costant with the ball, Gupton driving the baseline. Tries to get off to Hampton, taken away by Southark, going the other end. Lose the handle, Wally comes up with it. Out of bounds, knocked away. That one's tied up. Couldn't ever get a handle on it. 
Tie it up, and it'll stay with, who'd it go to? South Arch? Stays with South Arch. I'm gonna put 20 on the shot clock, and set to go. Taking out on the baseline, number 23, Garcia. Garcia gets it in to Briggs. Up top, to Ramos. South Arch. Taking a jumper from the free throw line. Puts it up, drives it inside. That's number five, Edison. Gets the basket. That's the one of two. It's 5-4 lead, South Arch. Here in the early going in Locksburg tonight. The Stars here taking on the Colts in Locksburg. Moye to Gupton. Gupton driving inside. Can't get it to go. But the rebound, Loggins gets it. Tries to throw one up, can't get it to go, and Southart comes away with it. All the way to the basket. That's number 24, Briggs, with the two. Kayvon Wally trying to take it in. It's taken away from him and pulled down by Ramos. Ramos. Pulls up from the three, top of the key. Got the basket and it's fouled by Wally. Basket is good and fouled by Wally. He'll get one. Ramos gets his second three of the night. Chance to make it seven points for him in the first half. The free throw. Six points for Ramos. Goes to the line, pulls up. Got it. Nope, didn't get it. Rolls around, but offensive rebound. But that's tipped away. Wally comes away with it. Kayvon Wally over to Moye. Inside to Loggins. Loggins goes inside the baseline, loses the handle, and it's taken away by Southart, going the other way with it. Kicks it out for the three. Won't go. Rebounded by Gupton. Tipped over to Gupton. Gupton gives it to Wally in the corner to Moye. Moye pulls up from three. Bounces around, falls through. Nick Moye with the three-pointer. Moye with five points here in the first half. He's got five of the seven. South Arc leads it 10 to seven in the first half. Driving the baseline, number five. That's Edison, can't get it. Knocked away by Edison. He'll chase it down as well. Ramos tries to drive in, left-handed underhand shot, layup for good. For Ramos. Ramos now with uh, eight points. Okay, four call for the personal. That's against King. That'll be his first. And some more chicken in for the Colts. Lamaje Hampton checking out. Gupton will check out. Going to bring in Aquino, Glover, and Harper. Shot put up, three-pointer, no good. Getting the rebound, pulling it down is number 24, Briggs. For South Arc, inside pass down underneath to Briggs. Briggs gets the basket. Making the flash underneath. Assist from the free throw line. South Arc leads it 14 to seven. Glover in at the top of the key. Wally looks at Glover in the corner. Glover takes the three. It's long, no good, but it's chased down by Moye. Moye looks to Aquino, top of the key. Now to Glover, inside the hand. Harper, Harper pushes his way inside, powers it in for the two. Harper gets his first basket of the night, the two pointer. 14 to nine, five point lead for UA Cossetot, or for South Arc. Driving to the basket, fouled by Harper, gets the basket and goes to the line for one. That's, uh, who was that, Edison? Yeah, Edison. Edison gets the two, goes to the line for one. He's got four points here in the first half. A couple of two point baskets could make it Five points with this free throw. And does. Five points for Edison. 
South Arc leads it by eight, 17 to nine in the early going of this one. Under 15 minutes to play in the first half. Glover drives the baseline, throws it across to Aquino. Aquino back to Glover, takes the three, can't get it to go. Off balance, three. Now Edison drives the other end. They're taking it inside, lost the handle, but Edison comes, Edison comes up with it, pulls up for the two, can't get it. Aquino pulls down the rebound for UA Costa. UA Costa to Glover, inside to Harper. Harper got it taken away, he lost a hand on it. Couldn't ever get, really get a good grip on it. Pass over to the other side and uh, throwing it up. It's 24 Briggs, he'll get fouled by number four. Fouls against the Kino. Briggs will go to the line for two for South Arc. Briggs has four points in the first half. Couple of free throws coming. First one is up and in. Checking in for South Arc, number zero, Hinyard. Hinyard comes in. And it looks like Keen checking out, I believe. Briggs at the line, number 24. Got the second one, got them both. He's got six points on the night. Early going of the first half, we're about 14 minutes. Glover in the far corner gives it up to Wally. Wants the three. It's short, no good. Chased down, touched a couple of times by Wally or by Moye and Aquino. And coming up with it is Briggs for South Arc. Briggs hands it off. Top of the key to Ramos. Ramos driving in, in the lane, in the paint with a layup. Good. Good move by Ramos to take it to the hole. Ramos has 10 points. And a timeout call, 21 to nine, the lead, 12 point lead for UAE, or for South Arc over UA Costats. And we'll take a break. We'll be right back here in just a moment. On UA Costats on ed88radio.com. Also on the, it's on the sports page. Also on the ed88. Boring chicken special on Salt Lake. My parents are feeding us boring chicken again. Mobilize all units. I worry about my little sister. Put that down, sir. Step away from the microwave. Pilgrim's Chicken. Try it today. It'll kick the boring right out of you. And we're back. It's uh, UA Costat Ball. They're trailing by 12, 21 to 9 here in the early part of this. Give it off to Glover. Top of the key for three. In and out, no good. Briggs comes down with a rebound for South Arc. Briggs hands it off to Ramos. He wants the three. No good. Rebound. And the putback by number five, Edison, with seven points. And another two for South Arc. They lead it by 14, 23 to nine. Wally gives it up to Aquino up top. Glover, Harper coming out, set a pick. Rolls underneath. Harper takes it to the basket, puts it up. Oh, rolls across the rim, no good. Brought down by Garcia. Garcia takes the other end, can't get it to go, but Briggs gets the rebound and a putback. Briggs with another two, he's got eight. Gray Costa trailing 25 to nine. In the corner to Glover, wants the three, can't get it to go. Tipped out. Ramos takes it all the way in. He's fouled by number 11, Moye. Moye, number 11, fouls number 11, Ramos. And Ramos has 10 points here in the first half. He goes to the free throw line for two. Ramos, first one bounces around, comes through. Two checking in for UA Costa. This looks like number 13 checking in, Cato for South Park. Checking in for UA Costa is Proby and Hampton. And Aquino's going to come out. In the ball game for UA Costa, we got uh, Glover, Wally, Proby, Moye, and Hampton. 
second one up and in by number 11, Ramos. He's got 12 points. Three cost on with the ball, trailing by 18. 27 to nine. Wally on the dribble. Backs it back out. Got a foul on number zero. That's against Henyard of South Art. He's called for the personal. Ray Costa will get it on the baseline, on their own baseline. Flashing inside, get it out to Moye. Moye dribbling inside, slips, travels with it, turns it over back to South Art. Cato gets it in to Ramos. Ramos dribbling. Ramos double teamed up top. Does get it away to Cato. Cato on the dribble. Comes back out. Now he hands, throws it off to Edison. Great move to the basket. Gets the two. Edison now with nine points in the first half. Glover underneath pass to Hampton. Hampton fakes two or three times. And is fouled underneath. He puts a shot up. It's blocked. And that goes against zero again. That's a Henyard call for two quick ones here in the early going. So Hampton go to the line for two. Hampton gets the first one. He's got three points on the evening. Ten points now for Costa, 29 for South Art. South Art, or UA Costat trails by 19. Hampton's second one up and in. South Park on the run. Ramos trying to drive to the basket. Stops. 10 out. Gives it off. Turn. Left handed hook inside the lane by Edison. Can't get it to go. Wally comes away with the rebound for UA Costat. Wally backs it back out. Wants to pull up for the three. No good. Touched by Glover. Now Hampton. Now Glover goes in for the layup. He gets the ball on the floor for a little while. And Glover ends up pulling up. Coming up out uh, with it and putting it up for the uh, two pointer underneath the basket. Glover gets two. 29 13, 16 point lead for South Park. That one blocked by Hampton. Wally on the other end. Throws one up, air ball from underneath the basket. Tied up underneath. Possession now stays with UA Costa. They're already on the other end. They got to come back. Glover ties it up underneath. And UA Costa will have the ball on the baseline. Six trailing by 16. 29 13 to South Art. Wally looking for somebody. Puts it up top to Moye. Moye on the dribble. Glover open for the three. Pulls up. Got it. Glover with the three pointer. Dylan Glover. Shot no good. Rebounded by Proby. Give it off to Wally. Back to Glover in the corner. Up top to Proby. Proby over to Wally. Wally to Moye on the other side. Back to Glover. Glover inside to Hampton. Pulls up and Hampton turns around. Jumper from point blank. Can't get it to go. Ooh, travel inside. No call. That one goes against 23 Glover. See, this is uh, Edison at the line. It's the first one. Edison has 10 points on the night. All here in the first half. We've got under 10 minutes to play. We're about halfway through the first half. And South Arc leads at 30-16. South Arc leading it by 14. Edison pulls up for the second free throw. Got it. 
Edison now with 11. And he checks out. Coming in, Briggs comes back in. And Briggs, Ramos. Number four is in there, King. Wally up top for UA Costat. Gives it off to the right wing to Moye. Moye looking inside. To Loggins, now back to Moye, over to Proby. Proby. Long pass to the corner to Moye. Takes it inside, running one-hander. Moye gets it to fall. Moye's got seven. 31-18, 13-point lead for South Arc. South Arc on the dribble, takes it inside. Riggs on the baseline, throws one up, can't get it to go. Rebound, Kahari Loggins. Loggins, back to Moy on the right wing to Wally up top. Wally back to Moye. Proby wants the three, off the glass, no good. Hampton to Loggins, puts it up underneath the basket, good. Loggins gets the two. That's his first basket of the night. It's 11 point lead for South Arc. Eight and a half minutes to go. Three pointer put up. No good. And a foul against 24. Briggs. Briggs called for his first. Number one checking in, that's Brown for South Art. And here's a timeout call. So we'll take one too. We'll be back after this timeout. Here on UA Costats at 88. Our score, South Art 31, UA Costat 20. We'll be right back. Don's Easy Pay has been serving families in Southwest Arkansas and Southeast Oklahoma for over 30 years. Don's Easy Pay is a family owned business. They carry name brand home furnishings for every room in the house. Living room, dining room, bedroom furniture, name brand kitchen appliances, and electronics too. At Don's Easy Pay, you can rent to own or purchase on the spot with 120 days same as cash. At Don's Easy Pay, you can even rent to own tires. And at Don's Easy Pay, they deliver, taking time to take care of our customers. It's Don's Easy Pay. We're back here after the timeout, 8.23 to go, an 11 point lead by South Arc, 31 to 20. Proby with it on the right wing, he backs up, back out, dribble up top, gives it over to Wally on the left wing. So kind of switched around here, cross court pass. Glover tries to get into Hampton. Long pass to the corner to Wally, 10 seconds now on the shot clock, Proby. Driving to the basket, off the glass, can't get it to go. Garcia coming out with a rebound for South Arc. Taken away by Loggins, Loggins with it. Wally on the other end, little jumper from three, can't get it to go. Here's Brown driving in the paint. And travel underneath by Brown, that'll be a turnover. Back to UA Costat as they trail by 11 here in the first set. And seven and a half minutes to play. Wally to Moye over to Glover. Glover on the left wing. Inside the Loggins puts up the two. Quick move underneath the basket to get up the two. Loggins now with four points. Seven minutes to go, 31-22 as UA Costat cuts it to nine. Up top, trying to dribble inside, does. Puts up a shot, no good. Rebound by Briggs, tied up underneath.
coach was talking about something here. Shot clock has 17. We'll see if that's right. Yeah, they're going to change shot clock to 12 here. Okay, Brown will take it out for South Arc. South Arc leads it by nine. They've cut it single digits here. UA Costa trailed early. And now Hampton will foul out on the floor and sin. It's not going to be a free throw, is it? No, that'll be baseline. Possession stays with uh, South Arc. And they'll have it on the baseline after the foul by Hampton out on the floor. That's Hampton's first. Ramos with it. Now from the free throw line, the jumper put up. No good. Rebounded by Glover of UA Costa. Gives it off to Moye. Moye. Trying to set up the offense. Hampton comes out, sets the screen. Moye dribbles to the right. Gives it off to Glover in the corner. Glover faking. Now tries to dribble to the free throw line. Wally puts up the three. Nothing but net. That barely touched the net. That was all the way through. Wally hits the three. Ray Costa cuts it to six. 31-25. Ray Costa trailing by six. About six minutes to go. That one blocked by Glover. The pass from Ramos. Kick out to Loggins. Now to Wally. Over to Moye. Takes the three. Got it. Nick Moye with the three pointer. And South Park wants a timeout as Moye now at 10 points. And a UA Costa Colts cut it to three. 31 to 28. We'll be back in a moment. Come from all over to Bailey's Discount Building Supply in Dequeen because they help build the best for less. When you walk in the doors, you'll see everything from the do-it-yourselfer to the general contractor. They have warehouses stocked with doors and windows, wall paneling and flooring. At those big chain stores, you may be left by yourself to look for something all day. But at Bailey's, there's plenty of help. And of course, the lumber yard has everything from plywood to lumber and sheetrock to insulation. Inside, there's lining, plumbing parts, cabinets, cooking supplies, and even a cell on generators. Open Monday through Saturday in Dequeen. Bailey's Building Supply, 870-642-2851. Well, a 19 to two run by UA Costa and Mike Moye flashing for another steal there. Almost knocked that one away. He goes out, but his last touch by Moye said so it'll stay with South Arc. That was a quick run there. A 19 to two run by UA Costa and they cut it to two or cut it to three, 30, 31 to 28. Thanks to our uh, coach Hinman who let me know that 19 to two run. Oh, Garcia almost traveled with it. Takes it inside, knocked away by Loggins. And it'll belong to UA Costa. As South Arc turns it over. Wally in the Moye, back to Wally. We got the starting five back out there for South Arc. Garcia up top. Wally taking it all the way in, off the glass, good. Got the bump and everything. Wally gets the two, he's got five. Ramos dribbling down. Ramos, double team in front. Now trying to take it inside. Is backside rebound though by South Arc. Putting it back up, no good. Loggins gets the rebound, kicks it out to Wally. Wally cross court pass to Moye, Moye has to back it back out to Wally. 18 seconds on the shot clock. 31-30, it's a one point lead South Arc. Loggins kicks it out to Moye for the three. Got it, Nick Moye with a three pointer as Kasatot takes the lead, 33-31. Moye with another three. 13 points for Moye here in the first half. Shot put up, no good. Over the back. Number four, King called for his second personal. A 
of South Arc. Hanging on the back of Wally. So it'll, be, it'll belong to uh, UA Costa out here as the uh, Colts have a two point lead. Thirty-three, thirty-one, with four and a half minutes to play in the first half. Ray Costa really fought back. They were down by a bunch here in the first half. They have to rewind to see what that was. Coach Hinman, the soccer coach, said that was a nineteen-to-two run by Ray Costa. Gets it out to Glover. Glover dribbles with 10 seconds of the shot clock. Reese with it. Last touch by South Arc. It'll go back to UA Costa with six seconds on the shot clock. Captain's going to bring it in back to Reese. Tries to get one off, can't get it to Ralph. Garcia pulls down the rebound for South Arc, going straight to the basket for the dunk. Number 13, Cato. Gets the slam dunk. Gary Costa with the ball. Tre it's tied up at 33. Off to Glover. Glover tries to throw one under. Pass too high for Harper on the other end. And a carry as uh, Cato tries to dribble down. He carries the ball. So it'll be a turnover for South Arc. Go back to UA Costa. It's tied at 33 with 320 to play in the first half. UA Costa's ball on their own end. In the backcourt. Reese. Back to Wally. Wally for UA Costa with the ball to Reese. Back to Wally. Gupton has it on the left wing. He stops. Has to throw it across back to Wally. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Inside to Hampton. Puts it up off the glass. Good. Two point lead by UA Costa as Hampton gets another one. Hampton with six points. Rebound, Kahari Loggins. Loggins gets it off to Reese. Reese over to Wally. Wally looks at a three. Gupton. No foul called on that one. They pushed him out of bounds. So it'll be back to Reese up to top to Wally. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Inside to Loggins. Loggins dribble. Wally takes the jumper. Can't get it. Tipped out by two Reese. Reese takes it inside to Kahari Loggins for the two. Six points for Loggins. Good pass by Reese underneath the basket. And UA Costa leads it by four, 37-33 with two minutes to play in the first half. Ramos dribbling inside. Briggs tries to get it. Scramble for it on the floor. Kahari Loggins tied up. Possession goes to UA Costa. Possession goes to UA Costa. They're gonna switch that or something. It was uh, so it's yeah, it does belong to UA Costa out here. In the ball game for UA Costa, we got uh, Kayvon Wally, Jordan Reese, Kahari Loggins, Demaje Hampton, and Terry Gupton. Reese up top over the right wings of Wally. Wally throws cross court now to Loggins underneath on the baseline. Waits a little too long, got double team there. Gupton to Wally. Reese on the dribble. Puts it up and is fouled by Garcia. Nope, gonna be fouled by Brown. What they call that on Garcia, it's on Brown. 
So Reese will go to the free throw line. Man, that was that saved UA Costock. He had to throw one up there, but Brown kind of saves us by fouling at the last second. First one put up by Reese is good. Reese has one point here from the free throw line. Reese will have another one coming. It's 38-33, a five-point lead now for UA Costot. They trailed by a bunch earlier. Uh, UA Costot did, but fought back and uh, got the lead, tied it up a couple times. Now have the lead by six, 39-33. Almost a steal by Loggins. Sends it inside. Blocked by UA Costa. Wally comes away with it underneath to Gupton. Gupton couldn't get the handle on it, and it goes the other way. Leading by six, 39-33. One minute to play in the first half. UA Costa with the lead after trailing by a bunch. Taking to the basket, throwing it up, bounces around, falls through. Who is that, number 13 or 11? That's 13. That's Cato with his second basket of the evening. 39-35, four-point lead. UA Costat with 40 seconds to play. 22 on the shot clock, 20. 15 on the shot clock, pass over to Reese. And a foul on Garcia. There's a foul on Garcia. His second. And that'll send Wally to the line for two. Or one and one, maybe. That's a one and one, I believe. That's Garcia's first. I was thinking that was his second. Checking in for UA Costa. We've got Glover coming back in. Moyer. Hampton's in there. Wally. And Reese. For South Arc is Garcia. Got Briggs. In there, is Briggs in there? No. Got e Edison in there. And Cato. Also, uh, Ramos and Brown. Briggs is not in there right now. Wally's second line won't go. Rebound. To South Arc. South Arc has the ball. Ramos up top with it. 20 seconds on the game clock and shot clock. To the free throw line, hands off to Garcia. Knocked away by UA Costa. Wally on the other end, takes it all the way in for the basket, good. Three seconds, two seconds, put up from half court, no good. Well, we got the baskets, our score at the half. UA Costa leads it by seven, 42-35. We'll take a timeout and be right back here on UA Costa at 88. Safety is a factor that shouldn't be overlooked when it comes to your car. Your vehicle needs safe engine parts or brake pads, but it also requires a reliable set of tires. Discount Tire and Alignment has a large selection of automotive tires that fit any car, truck, or SUV. They'll provide a safe and comfortable experience on the road, whether you're driving a short distance or for hours on the highway. It's smartness all around. Find everything from all season to specialty tires, oil changes, alignments, a clean facility, and friendly customer service. Discount Tire and Alignment, Highway 71 North in Queen, 870-642-5100. Your season of life, you'll find the financial products, digital tools, and friendly service that make you feel right at home with Farmers Bank. Come home to Farmers Bank. For those living together and those living apart, for classmates graduates, and teachers making the best of it. For the restaurants delivering to our doorsteps. For the frontline workers putting it on the line every single day. For this great nation determined to be stronger on the other side. 
thanks to all of you. We'll be together again. Pilgrim's Pride Corporation is currently one of the largest chicken producers in the U.S. and delivers poultry products in more than 100 countries. Being a part of the family meal is a tremendous honor. They strive for great taste, flavor, and satisfaction in every Pilgrim's experience. People are at the heart of our business. Pilgrim's continues to focus on providing a safe and well-managed workplace that presents the best opportunity for our team members to thrive and have a better future. A big part of this community, right here at home, Pilgrim's Pride of DeQuain. Salinas Satellite Service in DeQuain is a corporate partner of Ed88. Salinas is a Southwest Arkansas Dish Network provider offering all the latest package deals. And if you should encounter a problem, Salinas experienced service technicians are just a phone call away. The very latest in Dish Network home entertainment equipment can be found at Salinas Satellite in downtown DeQueen. Going in the first half, a big run by Yui Kostat in the second part of the first half to uh, go ahead and take the lead. They were down a bunch in the first half. They end up taking a less seven point lead at the half. Yui Kostat Colts 42 35 here in the men's game. And let's take a look at scoring in the first half. I do want to thank uh, Daniel Garcia. He's the one that's uh, running the camera for us. Uh, both games tonight, UA Costat Lady Colts won the earlier game, 102 to 78 for the South Arc Lady Stars. We'll take a look at the scoring from it here in a moment. But the scoring from this half, uh, four, two and double figures for South Arc. Ramos has 12 points. He has a couple of threes, a couple of two-point baskets, and a couple of free throws. He has uh, two of each. And then uh, Edison is the other one in double figures with 11 for South Arc for the Stars. Edison has uh, four two-point baskets and three free throws. A couple of two-pointers by, well, let's go to Briggs, because Briggs has eight points, not in double figures, but he has eight. He had three two-point baskets and a couple of free throws. And then uh, Cato has uh, four points for South Arc for the Stars. So a little more spread out, I guess, by UA Costat Colts. Only one in double figures, that would be Moye. He has three threes in the first half and a couple of two-point baskets makes it 13 points. And then the rest are not in double figures. Eight points would be the next one by Wally. He's the one of those that had the other three. He has a three-pointer, a couple of two-point baskets and a free throw. He has eight on the evening in the first half. And then it goes down to six points for Loggins. Three baskets and Six points also for Hampton, who has a couple of baskets and a couple of free throws. Five points tonight for Glover. He's got one three and a, and a basket. And then down to two points for Harper. He's got a basket. And then Reese has a free throw. He's got one. So our score at the half, 42-35. UA Costa down by a bunch. I don't know if it went to 20, but it was close in the first half. And UA Costa fought back, takes the seven point lead at the half, uh, leading at 42 35. Now, in the first game tonight, UA Costa Lady Colts won that one by 102 to 78. They led the first half 19 to 11. They led the first quarter 19 to 11. Led at the, at the half 42 43 35. Led at the end of the third quarter by um, 17. It was by eight points, led by eight at the end of the first quarter, led by eight at the half, led by 17 at the end of the third quarter, and then won it by 14, or 24. Um, won it by 24 by a score of 102 to 78, the final in the girls' contest, earlier women's contest. We're in Locksburg tonight. Let's take a look at the scoring for UA Costan in that one. First of all, 28 points for Portillos. Uh, she led all scores for South Arc, the Lady Stars with 28 points. And then uh, also in double figures, 16 for Buford and 12 for Bishop. Now for UA Costat, Lady Colts, leading score was 19 points, which was all in the second half by 
Hannah McLean. She had 12 of those points from the free throw line, picked up seven more, had a three-pointer and a couple of two-point baskets. So uh, ended with 19, led the scores for UA Costa with 19. Then it goes to 14 points for Sophia Reyes and for Kiana Holly. Holly had four threes on the night. 12 points for Alexis Hernandez. She had a pair of threes. 11 points for Samaya Smith with a couple of threes. Then it goes to single digits, nine points. Well, 10 points. There was another one. Sierra Shaw had uh, 10 points, and she had one three. And then it goes to single digits. Nine points for Coriana Fulbright. Uh, seven for Jared Cotton. Six points for... Victoria Burns, so spread out the scoring pretty good for them, too. And Uwe Kostat spread out the scoring tonight in the men's game. They lead it to half, 42-35. We'll be back with more from halftime in just a little bit here on at 88. Casatan is launching a brand new aerial lineman training course. This 145 hour clock hour course will offer training in broadband essentials and aerial lineman communications with graduates receiving a career training work ready certificate. The median yearly income for a communications aerial lineman in America is over $60,000 and the industry will need an average of 10,000 new linemen each year for the next 10 years. The UAC Aerial Alignment course will have you job ready in just four weeks, and qualifying participants pay zero tuition. We have the trucks, we have the poles, we have the equipment and the classroom. All we need is you. To find out more, check us out online at www.cccua.edu or call 870-584-1178 or email Continuing Education at cccua.edu. Come train at the college that bestcolleges.com ranks as the number one community college in the state. University of Arkansas, Casa Tot. One of the newer programs at UA Casa aerial lineman program. Uh, putting them at the workforce after just a few weeks. Uh, that is a uh, short, kind of a short class and and they'll teach you all the basics so that you go in uh, even after an apprentice. So uh, everything you need to know to get on the workforce for aerial alignment, uh, broadband, four states fiber, one of those putting that through, uh, one of the other programs like uh, cyber security. We're in partnership with UALR on that. So uh, several new programs at UA Costat, you can check those out online. So tonight, uh, this is John Bunyard sitting in for Lauren Hinton on the live stream. He usually does the home live stream. But I got double duty tonight with the PA announcing and the live stream. And uh, thank you, Daniel Garcia, for all the uh, filming tonight that he's doing for us. He's one of our uh, student ambassadors and soccer players. Thank you, Daniel Garcia. We got at the half. 42-35, seven-point lead. UA Costa will be back with more after this. Our crazy news story of the day brought to you this morning by the Horatio State Bank. And this lady right here is not crazy. She's actually Nancy Tollett of the Continuing Education Department here at UA Costa. She's the director down there. And Nancy, welcome aboard. Thank you, Lauren. So uh, let's talk a little bit. I know you guys stay busy. There's always some. I saw the new spring uh, catalog of courses is out, and we've got a lot of stuff going on. Yes, yes, lots of stuff. So yes. uh, some stuff beginning here, like, soon. Even. Yes, yes, yes. Um, actually, um, I'm wanting everybody to have an opportunity to register, and some of our uh, closing dates are quickly approaching. Gotcha. So I wanted to come make sure everybody knew about them so they didn't mess out. Okay, all right. So what kind of, what kind of classes are we talking about that our registration dates are, are rapidly approaching for? Um, the nursing assistant program mm -hmm. actually closes tomorrow. 
Okay. So um, if anybody is interested in that, if they could um, call me or come by and see me today, that would be great, and we can get them registered and get them ready to go. Can you tell me a little mm -hmm. bit about the nursing assistant program? What, what does that entail? It will actually be held at the Nashville campus mm -hmm. uh, this semester, and it's Monday through Thursday from 8 to noon every day. Okay, gotcha. And then the last week of class, uh, you will go to the Derrick's uh, Rehabilitation mm -hmm. and do your clinicals, do your hands-on practicing there. Got you, got you. Well, uh, in this day and age, you know, our, our medical professionals are, are so in demand and everything mm -hmm. that, uh, uh, again, that deadline is, is tomorrow. Yes. So we want to get yes. on this one, right? Yes, yes, by 4.30. And in addition to that... Mm -hmm. um, the other one that I have closing tomorrow is the medical coding and billing, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, we have lots of doctor's offices around and in town, and all of them do their medical coding and billing, or mm -hmm. they send it off to a private mm -hmm. company. Mm -hmm. And um, this is 100% online, so you never have to leave your house. Um, you can do it from anywhere. And it is a 10-week program. And it does close also tomorrow. And one of the good things about those online programs is, I mean, you have a certain amount of freedom right there. You can go ahead and study it. You can you can be in class at 11 o'clock at night mm -hmm. or 4 o'clock in the morning if that's what you want to do. Right, right, right. right. Um, you would meet with your instructor at a set time, uh -huh. and that is on Mondays and Wednesdays okay. um, from 6 to 9.30 okay. uh, via Zoom. Mm -hmm. So you can communicate with your instructor. Of course, you can always email and ask questions or anything that you have. Sure, sure. But you have, you know, that time set aside specifically for that class. Now, what are, what are some of the other cl interesting classes that we have coming up in the continuing education department? <laughs> um, well, closing tomorrow um, uh -huh. is a fun class. Uh -huh. It is a spring door hanger, and uh -huh. it's a wooden circle, and um, you get to bring your own colors of paint and ribbon, and Miss Amy is a wonderful teacher, mm -hmm. and she will guide you into make whatever design you want. So you can have a personalized one of a kind door hanger. It's only $20. Uh -huh. And that class is actually on a Saturday morning. Okay. So moms, grandmas, sisters, come on out, get away from the house for a couple hours and come have some fun. Um, that will actually be on March the 12th, but the registration does close tomorrow. Okay. All right. Well, I would imagine that's got to be really kind of a neat job you have. And to bring this one back here, as Yue Costa takes that uh, seven point lead at the half, 42 to 35. Yue Costa leading scoring by Nick Moye with 13 points. He had three threes in the first half, followed by. Kayvon Wally with eight, six points each for Loggins, Kahari Loggins, and Damage Hampton. Then five points for Dylan Glover, two points for Zion Harper, one point for Jordan Reese. South Arc with the ball as we start the second half. Briggs with it. Cutting towards the basket, falling on the floor. Kahari Loggins, 34, call for the personal. South Park with the ball. Back up top to Ramos. Ramos to Garcia. Garcia on the dribble. Pulls up in the free throw line. Off the glass, good. Garcia with his first bucket of the night. A two-pointer from the free throw line. 42-37, five-point lead. UA Costa as we begin the second half. Moye dribbling up top. Looking for help, gives it over to Wally on the right side. Gupton alone in the corner. Tries to take it inside, pass it off to Hampton. He can't get a handle on it. And I'm going to say that belongs. I didn't even see it go out. I guess it hit the, must have hit something on the side or on the end. And it'll belong to South Arc. Ramos bringing it down. Looking for Garcia on the left wing. Garcia down low, backing his man in. Picking up another foul. The 
Jahari picking up two quick fouls underneath the basket. So, Edison backs him in there. Edison with 11 points. At the free throw line, can't get the first one to go. At 11 the first half, he was second in scoring. For South Art, 12 points for Ramos. And Edison had 11, number five. Second one up and in by Edison. He's got 12 now. Gary Cost out with the ball. Wally guarded by Garcia. In the backcourt. Wally throws it off to Kahari Loggins. Gives it over to Moye for the three. Can't get that one. Long rebound. Knocked away, chased down by Edison. Edison gives it to Ramos. Ramos pulls up for the three and hits it. Ramos with a three-pointer and he's got 15. 42-41, UA Costait barely hanging on to a lead here by one. Gupton tries to take it in, chunks it up, underhand shot, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Southard. Ramos up top, guarded by Gupton. Throws it inside, turn, spin move, inside, puts it up and in, right-handed hook shot underneath. Edison gets the basket. Edison has 14. And South Arc with a one-point lead. Wally. Got his pocket pick for a second by Garcia, but got it back. Pass it up to Moye. Driving a baseline, backs it back out. Tripped up by number four, King. He picks up his third. Should be King's third, I believe. Yep. So checking in is going to be Hinyard for King. At the historic Bank of Locksburg Gymnasium tonight. Lady Colts won their first, won their game, the first game tonight. 102-78, Colts have a, Wally throws it away, gets a turnover. Driving on the other end, giving it off to Briggs, can't get it to go. Wally comes away with it on the other end. Wally gives it to Loggins, going to the basket. Pump fake underneath, got it. Loggins now with eight points. Pulls up for the three, Ramos to the right, no good, but the offensive rebound. After fighting for the ball, Wally comes away with it. Gupton tries to get in, throws it away. Drives past Gupton, throws it underneath, up and in for the basket, fouled by Hampton. Riggs gets the basket and one. Foul's going to be on, say, 10. No, it'll be number one. It should be Hampton. Hampton should, I think it said 20. Gupton called for the foul. Okay. Gupton will check out. Dylan Glover comes in for UA Costat. At the free throw line, it's Briggs with a shot. And got it. Briggs now with the basket. That was 10 points. Now 11 with the free throw. 45-44, one-point lead. South Arc here in the second half. We cast out with the ball. 16 and a half to play in the first in the second half. Pass underneath the Loggins. A travel called underneath the basket on Kahari Loggins. That'll be a turnover, and South Arc will get possession. Ramos, backing it in. Gives it up. To Edison, now a three-pointer put up by Garcia and hits it. Garcia with his fifth point of the night here in the second half, first three. Wally, it's a five-point lead for South Arc. Wally's going to try to take it in. Kicks it off to Moye for the three. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Glover. Knocked away. 
through the hands of Moye, through the hands of Kahari, and out of bounds. Back to South Arc. South Arc comes in this one 15 and 8 overall, 7 and 3 in the conference. They've had some good wins here in Locksburg tonight. Taking on the Colts. Colts. Looks like it was going to be all South Arc from the beginning. But the, uh, another one by Garcia, three pointer. Colts fought back, took a seven point lead at the half, but now they trail by eight. Colts trailing by eight, 52 to 44. We'll be right back with more after this timeout. Wilkerson Funeral Home was established by the Wilkerson family in 1929. Fred Wilkerson Sr. built a reputation on serving others, putting families first, and operating with the highest standards of professionalism. With locations in De Queen and Dirks, families of Southwest Arkansas continue to choose Wilkerson Funeral Home for their dependability, professionalism, and a staff that has acquired over 125 years of combined experience in the funeral business. Supporting our community and area schools, Wilkerson Funeral Home, and online at WilkersonFuneralHomes.com. Look at where we are. Think of what we can do. What we're building together is special, and at Southwestern Electric Power Company, we know it's only the beginning. We can do more to improve our communities, our lives. We can reimagine how we use power and where that power comes from. We believe every person, no matter how unique, makes us stronger. By working together, the energy to accomplish our dreams is boundless. And we're back here in Locksburg tonight, Historic Bank of Locksburg Gymnasium. Lady Colts won the first game, 102-78 over South Arc Lady Stars. In this one, UA Costat trails by eight, 52-44. They trailed by a bunch in the first half early. Costat came back and uh, took a seven point lead at the half. Moy looking for a three, kicks it off to Glover. I'll take the three, can't get it. Rebounded by South Arc. Last touch by UA Costat. It'll belong to South Arc. court with Ramos. Ramos bobbles it. They wanted to travel but couldn't get it. So, but it is a turnover and it'll go back to UA Costa Colts here. Moye with it on the right wing, guarded by Briggs. Moye taking to the basket. Double pump underneath, got it over Briggs for the two. Good move by Nick Moye. He has 15 points on the night, 13 in the first half. Garcia on the dribble, trying to take it in. Goes up a one-hander. Chase down, couldn't go. Chase down by Kahari Lyons. Hand it off to Moye. Moye throws it out of bounds because Glover was uh, making a move to the basket. Moye throws it behind him. 52-46, six-point lead. South Arc here at Locksburg tonight. 14 minutes or 13 and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Briggs open for three, puts it up and in. Briggs got the three-pointer for South Arc. Briggs now with 11, uh, 14, 14 points on the night. He had eight in the first half. He's got six here in the second. Moye trying to back in his man, almost taken away. Tries to pass it in, got it to Hampton. Hampton fakes and it's foul by number zero, which is Henyard. That's his third foul over Henyard. Now send Damage Hampton to the line for two. Hampton fighting inside and trying to get the shot off. It was fouled by Henyard. 
So Hampton goes line for two shots. First one up, long, no good. 55-46, nine point lead for South Arc with 13 minutes to play in the ball game. Hampton's second one will not go. Rebound Zion, Harper underneath, off the glass. Good spin move underneath, Harper gets the basket. Harper now with four on the ninth. Steal by Nick Moye. Moye goes in, couldn't get it. Glover with a rebound and a putback. Glover got the two. Now timeout called by South Arc. We'll take one, two, we'll be right. It is time for the final question. Who is offered the Rogers rates? Jacob State Farm, basically anyone. Sorry, buddy, that's incorrect. <laughs> See, we offer great rates that fit anyone's budget. That's enough, thank you very much. Jessica in the middle, you said me? No. Sorry. <laughs> What are we doing? Whatever. Also me. Great LOL. That was really important. Of course. Everybody gets the rates, I guess. For surprisingly great rates that fit any budget, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. Your local State Farm insurance agent in Dequeen is Luke Billingsley, 870-642-2157. Back here in Locksburg tonight, a five, Colts cut it to five, 55 to 50 here in the second half with 12.43 to play in the uh, ball game. South Arc leads it 55 to 50. Ramos for South Arc on the dribble. Gives it off to Briggs, now to Garcia. Garcia back out to Ramos. Ramos takes the three, it's short and out of bounds and it'll belong to UAE Costa. Who else is in there for South Arc? That's Cato. They have like really, they have maroon numbers on a black jersey, it's hard to see. Cato's in there, also Garcia, Briggs. Wally driving to the basket, fouled. Briggs reaches in, grabs his arm and will be called for the foul. I don't know how many that is on Briggs. I've got him for one so far. Yeah, that's two. So he holds Wally's arm and Wally will go to the line for two. Rolls around, falls through for the first one. Wally now has nine points. He can make it uh, double digits here if he gets another free throw. And does. Double digits for Kayvon Wally. Ten points at eight in the first half. He's got two, both of those free throws here in the second half. 55-52 as the Colts cut it to three. Garcia wants the three. Can't get it to go. Going up for the rebound. Briggs, Harper, and Hampton. Briggs ends up on the floor. Ball goes out underneath. And the official says that belongs to UA Costa. Floor slick. They're going to throw a towel out. Wipe that off underneath where Briggs went down. 55 52, three point lead. South Arc, under 12 minutes to go in this one. Coming up uh, also this week, Thursday, it is SAU Tech in town, 5 30 and 7 30. Join us for those games. They're at home. They're here in Locksburg this Thursday night, SAU Tech. At 5.30 and 7.30, SAU Tech and UA Costa. UA Costa with the ball now, trailing by three. Wally up top, looking for Hampton, gives it off to Moye. He'll take the three to tie it up, can't do it. Harper is pulled by number five, Edison. Call for the foul, a hole. That's his first. Edison grabs his arm, pulls him. Zion Harper underneath the basket. It won't be a shooting foul. Just chasing the rebound down. Chasing the rebound down. Wally up top. Screen by Hampton. Wally taking it in. Throws up an air ball underneath. Got it by Hampton. Back up to Wally. Glover 
18 on the shot clock. Glover trying to back it in, throws it away. And for the three, got it. That's number 13, Cato. He's got seven. Puts it back up to five, 50 or six points, 58 52. Ray Costart trailing by six. Moy trying to go inside, throws it up off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Harper. Jump ball, possession stays with Ray Costart. Wally will take it out on the baseline. Got Glover in there, Hampton. Wally tries to get in there, it's knocked away by Garcia. Harper's in there underneath the basket, and Morier in the, this corner. Knocked out of bounds, last touch by Garcia. That'll stay with you, Acosta. Glover up top with it. Guarded by. Inside to Moye, takes it to the hole for the two. Moye right to the basket for two. He's got 17. Uh, pull it up for the three, won't go. Rebound, Wally for UA Costat. That was Cato trying another one. Moye with it, traveled with the ball. Got it stuck on his hip. Ramos for UA for South Art hands it up to Garcia who will set up top with it. Garcia on the dribble, they'll reset their offense. Ramos has it, hands it off to Briggs for the three. Got it. Briggs with a three-pointer. That's another one for him. Eight, six, 14, 15, 17 points for Briggs. Good night for him. Moyer. Takes it down the baseline, double team, throws it away. Picked up by Garcia, goes to the other end, kicks it out to Cato for the three, no good. Pass down court to Hampton. And a slam dunk by Damage Hampton. On the other end, Hampton now has eight. 61-56, five point lead by South Arc here in Locksburg tonight. Ramos wants to drive it all the way in. Knocked away by Moye, but it'll stay with South Arc on the baseline. Somebody checking in for the Colts. Hump, Hampton's checking out. Reese checking in. Jordan Reese. Also, Kahari Loggins looking to check in. Here comes Moye for a break. So in the in the ball game, it's Dylan Glover, Zion Harper, Kayvon Wally, Jordan Reese. Pulls up for a two, can't get it to go. Glover pulls down the rebound for UA Kostot. And, more, and Wally will bring it across as UA Kostot trails by five, 61-56. Under 10 minutes to play in this one. Glover to the corner to Reese. Reese backing it back out. Pulls up for the two, can't get it to go. Backside rebound by number five, Edison. Edison gives it off. Driving inside, good spin move underneath. Cato can't get it to fall though. And Zion Harper, what a rebound, pulls it down. Knocked away, last touch by Garcia. That'll belong to UA Costa. So Yuri Costa will have it. They're trailing by five, 61 to 56. We have 8.50 to play in the ball game. Yuri Costa led at the half. They trailed early by a bunch. I don't know if it got to 20, but it was close. And came back and took a halftime lead, 42 to 35. It went on a 19-2 run at one point in that one. Glover from the corner for three, in and out, no good. Rebound goes to Edison. 
Edison will give it off to Ramos. Back to Edison at the top, trying to drive inside the paint. Blocked by Kahori Loggins, knocked out. Edison will get it in to Ramos. Now back to Edison, who's trying to take it inside. He gives it up to Cato. Cato loses his footing. Ramos throws up a two-pointer, no good. Kahari Loggins comes down with a rebound to Wally. UA Kostat on the run. Eight minutes to play. UA Kostat Colts trailing by five. In, in the corner to Glover. Wally will look at the three, in and out, no good. Rebound by number five, Edison. Edison gives it off to Ramos. Ramos on the dribble. Back to Ramos. Now Cato wants the three. Air ball pops the backboard. That's it. Glover looking at a three. Pass it back out to Wally. Ray Costant with the ball. Seven and a half minutes to play. Trailing by five. Wally takes it all the way in around everybody, but couldn't get it to fall. Now Ramos on the other end is fouled by Reese. Official timeout here. Let's see what's going on. Jordan Reese called for the personal. That's his first. Ball will go on to the, will go to the side with South Arc. South Arc leads it by five, 61-56. 7.20 to play in the ball game. We're in the second half. Backcourt as Reese touched it. And then Brown got a hold of it and then took it into the backcourt. So Reese, take it out on the side here. Gets it in to Wally, guarded by Brown. Colt still trailing by five. Reese up top, gives it off to Moyer. Wally, looks at a three, back top to Moyer. Wally has to throw one up the last second. Rebounded by Moyer. Chased down by Reese. Reese. Wally looks at a three. Gives it back out to Reese. 12 on the shot clock. Back to Wally and he loses it. He's looking inside. Through the hands of Wally. Keno's going to check in for Wally here. Still down by five. 61-56. 6.46. UA Costa trailing in this one. 6.44 to play. UA Costa. South Arc with the ball. Loses it for a second. Cato. Brown. Garcia. Garcia on the dribble. Reese called for a foul underneath. So back to South Arc on the baseline. Colts had a 42-35 lead at the half after a big comeback in the first half. Garcia gets it, dribbles, wants to shoot the three, passes it up, now tries to dribble again, goes all the way in the paint, blocked. Another one called on Reese, I believe. It's a quick one, three quick ones on Reese. They'll send Garcia to the line. Garcia, number 23, at the free throw line. Shoots 71% from the free throw, 72% from the free throw line. Damian Garcia. First one falls through. See a, a guard, shoots 47% field goal percentage. 
three-point range, shoots 35%, free throw percentage, 72%. He hits both of those. And he has 10 points on the night. He went to double digits on that one. Driving inside, Reese kicks it out to Moyer. In, in the corner to Reese. Reese on the dribble, pulls up. And five, can't get it to go. Rebound, South Arc. South Arc leading by seven. 63 to 56. Driving all the way inside, lose a handle on it, but picks it back up, puts it in. That's number five, Edison with a two point basket. Edison has 16. And the South Arc Stars lead by nine. 65-56, South Arc with the lead. We'll take a break. We'll be right back here on Yuri Kostat's head 88. And what if I want to change my plan? State Farm's here to help. What if I want to change sports? Newcomer Chris Paul is maintaining a narrow lead in these final meters. But here comes an opponent closing the gap. One foot in front of the other, they are battling it out. And Chris Paul edges ahead. Those are the hips of a champion. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Your season of life, you'll find the financial products, digital tools, and friendly service that make you feel right at home with Farmers Bank. Come home to Farmers Bank. And we're back here at Historic Bank of Locksburg Gymnasium. A nine point lead for South Arc. The Stars, 65 56 here in the second half. Colts came from behind in the first half by quite a bit and took a seven point lead at the half, 42-35. We'll have to do the same thing here. They haven't been down as much to the second half. Just uh, haven't regained the lead yet. We're under six minutes to play in this one. 65-56, down by nine. Colts with the ball. Cross court. To Aquino in the corner. Over to Moye. Pulls up. Double pump. Shot clock runs out. And Wally will check in. We got uh, Dylan Glover and Gupton checking in for the Colts. Wally Loggins coming out. Aquino checking out. Moye will stay in there. Also, uh, Demange Hampton. For South Arc, got Brown up top. Also King in there, almost stolen away. Coming up with it is Edison. Edison wants to drive to the basket against Gupton. Throws one up, can't get it, gets his own rebound. Tries to put it back up, can't get it to go. Knocked away by Hampton. Gupton trying to go to the basket, kicks it back out to Glover. Knocked away by Edison out of bounds. It will stay with Yui Costa. Coming in for Yui, uh, for the South Arc is number 11, Ramos. And coming out will be Brown. Glover with the three. Can't get it to fall. Gupton chases down the rebound. Pulls it down, gives it out to Wally. Now back to Gupton. Over to Wally on the left wing. Wally gives it to Glover. Gupton will take the three, and he's fouled. Gupton is fouled by number five, Edison. Gupton will go to the line for three. Edison's second foul. Yep, Edison's second foul. Gupton to the line for three. First one rolls around, flops out. Gupton has yet to score tonight. Got two more from the free throw line. 65-56, a nine point game. Got the second one. First point of the evening by Gupton here in the second half. 65-57 now an eight point lead for South Arc. And Gupton hits the second. Cuts it to seven, 
58. Four and a half minutes to play in the ball game. 65-58 South Arc. South Arc with the ball. Over to Garcia. Garcia is fouled. It's fouled by number one, Hampton. So Garcia will go to the line for two. He hit his last two. Number 23, Damian Garcia at the free throw line. That one won't go. First one didn't go. He's got one more. 65 58, seven point lead. South Arc here in the second half with 420 to play. Garcia hits the second one. Garcia with 11 points in the ball game on the second half. Gupton driving the baseline. Off the glass. Good. Up high. Gupton goes way up in there and gets it to go. 66 60, a six point lead for South Arc. Five, Edison with the ball, guarded by Gupton, knocked away by Gupton. Thrown back in, stolen away. Gives it off to Moye, Glover in the corner. Steps on the line. Sixty-six, sixty, six point. Over Gupton, goes into the basket. Now Glover fouls. Gets the basket and is fouled. Basket is good. That is Edison for the two. That'll be 18 points for him tonight. No, 17 points for him. Uh, again, that's, uh, that is 18, yeah. Now a chance to make it 19. Nope, can't do it. Rebound Hampton. Maje Hampton with the rebound. Gupton over to Wally. Eight point lead. South Arc. Three and a half minutes to play in the ball game. Glover with it up top. Throws it underneath to Hampton. Hampton fakes. Edison call for another foul. That's his third on Edison. Hampton. Goes to the line for two. Hampton at the line now. Demange Hampton for a pair of shots. First one up and in. Hampton has nine points on the night. With another free throw here. He could go to double digits. Second one will not go. Rebounded by Garcia of South Arc. Garcia will bring it across. Nope, he'll hand it off to Ramos. Ramos has it. Back to Garcia. Now to Edison, who wants to drive inside. Knocked away. And a foul on number four. That one goes against King. That's his four. And that'll take... Wally to the line for a one and one. Foul is uh, the fourth foul on King. Checking in for King is going to be number zero, Hinyard. So, Kayvon Wally back to the line for UA Costa, Wally. Has 10 points on the night. Two of those are free throws in the second half. Make it 11 now. Had eight points in the first half. Three-pointer, a couple of baskets and a free throw. Now he has three points, or three free throws here in the second half, which makes it 11. It's also the second one. Now he has 12. The lead is five by South Arc. And South Arc has the ball with under three minutes to play. Edison with the ball. 
for Southark. Knocked away by Gupton. But it'll stay with Southark on the baseline. Ramos will take it out. Pass in to Briggs for the three. Not going to go. Rebounded by Wally. Wally driving. Give it out to Gupton for the three. Back to Wally. Back to Wally, back to Gupton. Now back to Wally. 2.20 to play. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Glover pulls up for the two. Can't get it. Backside rebound by Briggs. The lead is five. They needed that basket right there. It's two minutes to play. Garcia guarded by Gupton. Pass inside. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Gupton. Wally. Blocked. Wally shot blocked. And a travel call on number 11, Ramos. That belonged back to UA Costa, trailing by five, 68 63. This will belong to UA Costa. Moye trying to get it in. No foul call. Garcia on the other end taking it in. Throws one up, can't get it to go. Gupton pull, comes away with it. Throws it down the court to Wally. Wally fouled underneath by Briggs. Will go to the free throw line. 127 to play. He's got a couple of free throws. And can cut it to three right here. Costa trailing 68-63. Wally will go to the line for two. Try to cut the lead to three. Got to wipe the floor underneath there. <laughs> Wally's has uh, 12 points on the night. He had eight in the first half. He's had four free throws in the second half. Makes it 12. And he's going to the line for a couple more. South Ark in the ball game. Ramos, Garcia, Edison, also Hingard, and Briggs. For UA Costa, it is Moy, Hampton, Wally, Gupton, and Glover. Wally at the line for two. Up on the first one, got it. Wally hits another free throw. He's had five free throws in the second half, 13 points on the night. And the lead is cut to four, 68-64 with a minute and a half to play in a ball game. Wally with a second shot, up and good. A timeout call by South Arc. We'll take one, two. We'll be right back with more from the historic Bank of Locksburg Gymnasium after this. Safety is a factor that shouldn't be overlooked when it comes to your car. Your vehicle needs safe engine parts or brake pads, but it also requires a reliable set of tires. Discount Tire and Alignment has a large selection of automotive tires that fit any car, truck, or SUV. They'll provide a safe and comfortable experience on the road whether you're driving a short distance or for hours on the highway. It's smartness all around. Find everything from all season to specialty tires, oil changes, alignments, a clean facility, and friendly customer service. Discount Tire and Alignment, Highway 71 North in Queen, 870-642-5100. Back and forth tonight, but uh, South Arkansas had the lead for a little bit here for a while. In the second half, uh, South Ark jumped out to early start almost 20 point lead I think by South Arc but uh, UA Costa fought back in the first half and took the lead at the halftime seven they went on a 19-2 run at one time UA Costa did and and uh, took a seven point lead at the half 42-35 now uh, South Arc in the second half has the lead 
they've led by, I know, at least by nine. And uh, they lead by three at the moment, 68-65, and they'll have the ball. South Ark's ball with a minute and a half to play. Garcia going to bring it down for South Ark. Up top to Briggs. Briggs looks for Edison. Edison down in the corner to Ramos. Ramos dribbles. Pass his man inside for the layup. Good. Ramos gets the basket. That's five points in the second half. 17 on the night for Ramos. Glover to Gupton. Got to do something inside a minute. Gupton throws it away. Garcia comes away with it. Glover comes down with it. Gives it off to Moore. Timeout call. So we'll take one, two. Don't forget, uh, coming up this Thursday, we're back at home again. UA Costot taking on SAU Tech from Camden. And that'll be uh, here at the Bank of uh, Historic Bank of Locksburg Gymnasium this Thursday, 5.30 and 7.30, the uh, tips on in. We'll take a break. We'll be right back after this. Come from all over to Bailey's Discount Building Supply in Queen because they help build the best for less. When you walk in the doors, you'll see everything from the do-it-yourselfer to the general contractor. They have warehouses stocked with doors and windows, wall paneling and flooring. At those big chain stores, you may be left by yourself to look for something all day. But at Bailey's, there's plenty of help. And of course, the lumber yard has everything from plywood to lumber and sheetrock to insulation. In Can't miss anything. We'll get back to that in a moment. But uh, right now, with 43 seconds to play, it's a five-point lead for South Ark. In the corner to Glover. Wants the three. It's short. No good. Knocked away by Gupton. Gupton, back to Glover, takes the three, bottom! Glover hits the three, cuts it to two, 70 to 68. Another timeout call, we'll be right back. People come from all over to Bailey's Discount Building Supply in Queen because they help build the best for less. When you walk in the doors, you'll see everything from the do-it-yourselfer to the general contractor. They have warehouses stocked with doors and windows, wall paneling and flooring. At those big chain stores, you may be left by yourself to look for something all day. But at Bailey's, there's plenty of help. And of course, the lumber yard has everything from plywood to lumber and sheetrock to insulation. Inside, there's lining, plumbing parts, cabinets, cooking supplies, and even a cell on generators. Open Monday through Saturday in Queen. Bailey's Building Supply, 870-642-2851. Okay, we're back. Two point lead now. 70 to 68. There's 10. Let's see, how much is on the shot clock? South Ark will have the ball. They lead by two. 70 to 68. Looks like it'll be full court pressure by UA Costat. It's 29.5 seconds. So 30 seconds left on the clock here. Full court pressure by UA Costatat. South Ark leads it 70 to 68. The ball game for South Ark to Briggs. Also Cato's in there. Ramos, Garcia, and Edison. For UA Costat, got Moye. Got Wally, Gupton, Glover, and Hampton. Oh, knocked away, last touch. That was close. Knocked away by Yui Kasatai. Garcia grabs it last, or hit it last. I guess somebody from Yui Kasatai must have touched it after that. It went up in the stands. Timeout called. South Ark. So we're going to take one, two. We'll be
70 to 68, 26 seconds left on the clock. South Arc with the lead by two and the ball in the backcourt. Oh, it hit the, it hit Glover's in the face, it hit Glover in the face, bounced back straight to South Arc. And then somebody reaches in and fouls. I think it's against Wally. I'm not sure who. No, it's Moye that fouls. That'll be his second. So that's going to send Brown to the line for two. Is it a one and one or two? I guess it'll be two. No, it's a one and one. Yeah. Brown goes to the line for a one and one. Rebounded by UA Costa. Wally with the ball. Trailing by two. UA Costa, 15 seconds. Wally taking it in. Gives it to Gupton for the two. Ties it up at 70. Timeout, UA Costa tight. Nine point five on the clock. What is that? Nine point five on the clock? We had four point two seconds on the clock. He says official says nine point five, put nine point five on. It's tied up at seventy in the ball game here at Locksburg tonight. South Arc and UA Costa. Ramos gives it two for the three. No good. Shot put up, just bank the backboard. That's it. Garcia was in front. It said last touch by UA Costa. Knocked out of bounds underneath. Maybe by Wally, because he's on Garcia. So I guess that's who touched it last. Now, they get it in, put up the shot, no good, but the tip in, counts. And South Arc comes away with the win. Backside tip in by Garcia. Garcia with a good second half. Had six points, 10, 13 points on the night. Garcia got the backside tip in for the victory. 72 to 70 to win by South Arc tonight here in Locksburg. Don't forget, uh, coming up next, or this Thursday, it's uh, SAU Tech coming to Locksburg for a couple of games. The ladies' game will be at 5.30, women at 7.30. Ray Costot Colts tonight. First of all, let's take a, we'll take a break. We'll be right back with the scoring after this. Back here tonight, a uh, boy, tough one here at home. 72 to 70, the final on a uh, tip in on the backside by Garcia, Damien Garcia, and that's uh, he ended with 13 points on the night for South Arc. Also, uh, they had 18, the one that led scoring was 18 for uh, South Arc Stars, 18 for Edison, um, for Braden Edison, he had uh, 18 points in the ball game, 11 in the first half, seven in the second. Ended up with 18, 17 points each for Dame, uh, for Ramos, 
for Troy Ramos and also for Briggs, for Raheem Briggs. They both had 17. 13 tonight for Damian Garcia and then 7 tonight for Cato, for Jamarian Cato. And now for UA Costat, they were led in scoring by Nick Moye with 17. He had 13 in the first half, three threes in the first head in the first half, and then uh, four points, a couple baskets in the second half, had ended up with 17. 14 tonight for Kayvon Wally. Had eight in the first half and six free throws in the second half. Ended up with 14. Another one in double figures was Glover. Dylan Glover had 10. A pair of threes. He had five in the first half, five in the second half. Ended with 10 tonight. Those are the three in double figures for UA Costa. And it went to nine points for Hampton. Damage Hampton had nine. Eight points for Kahari Loggins. Four each for... Um, Zion Harper, Harper and Terry Gumpton, Terry Gupton, and then uh, Jordan Reese had one point, one free throw tonight to round out the scoring. UA Costat led it. I mean, they uh, fell behind early in the ball game, way behind. Made a good comeback and led at the half by seven, 42 to 35, but uh, ended up losing this one, 72 to 70 on a buzzer beater uh, with a backside tip in by Damian Garcia after a shot just cleared the whole goal at the buzzer and then uh, the tip in got it back in. So uh, South Ark wins it 72 to 70 here in Locksburg tonight. They had won the first one already by, let's see, at their place, I think it was like 82 to 71, I think was the final. I don't see that anywhere now. I did have it earlier. But we're going on the, uh, we'll still be here this week for a couple of matchups. It'll be Thursday night, 5.30 and 7.30 against SAU Tech out of Camden. Uh, the ladies will play at 5.30, men at 7.30. And then we go to Saturday against uh, ASU Mid-South. Who, do you, Barry, do we have times on that or anything yet? ASU Mid-South? And it's just the one game or is it both? Okay, these are makeup games when the weather was bad. Is that what that was? So we've got the women playing at 2 o'clock on Saturday here in Locksburg, followed by the men at 4 o'clock against ASU Mid-South, both of those games here in Locksburg, also Saturday. Well, for Lauren Hinton, filling in for him, doing my PA plus the uh, live stream tonight, I'm John Bunyard uh, for ed88radio.com on the uh, website, on the sports page. And then uh, also on 888 YouTube page, we'll be back at both of those places on Thursday night at 5.30, then again Saturday at 2. And uh, I want to say good night. Thanks for joining us uh, tonight here on Ed 88 live stream. So long. <laughs>